I'm WRAL meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner. Cloudy skies this afternoon, a few scattered showers and a high of 76. Overnight tonight, it's a warm one, 71 degrees under mainly cloudy skies. And tomorrow's warm too. We'll see a high of 78 with a few light showers during the afternoon. Weather update brought to you by Nukem and Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit Nukem and Company. Dot com. Three o'clock check of your money. Dow Jones down 170 points to 38,722. Market update brought to you by Habitat for Humanity Restore. Now selling brand new solid wood custom cabinets. Learn more at trianglerestores.com. 6.9 to go. In it comes to Ethan Morton. He's going to dribble this one out. And the second verse is the same as the first. UConn repeats as national champions. The third team to repeat in the last 50 years. 75-60 the final. The Huskies back-to-back -back national champions. The Drive with Tim Donnelly on 99.9 The Fan. Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Tim Donnelly here alongside Dennis Cox. That's what it sounded like last night. And to be completely honest, the last, like, five minutes weren't even that exciting. They really were. UConn was ahead, and Purdue had nothing for him. Zach Eady gave his best shot, and did nothing for him. Was that the sound of, of a new standard in college basketball? I know that that like them's be fighting words in this part of the country to say anywhere else might be the standard in college basketball, but is everyone, including Duke and North Carolina, or North Carolina and Duke, order not intended, and the other blue bloods, if you want to call them blue bloods, are they all chasing UConn? Yes. UConn is the new big bad bully on the block in college basketball, and and it's important to recognize. Dan Hurley, their head coach, did, did, last night I don't think was his most likable moment. Trash talking to Zach Eady, coached a player I never like. At one point in time, he got on the floor and pushed his own player to get into the action. Can't do that. Here's Dan Hurley after the game. I just think it, 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 it's, it's the best two-year run, I think, in a very, very long time just because uh, of everything we lost from last year's team. Um, to lose that much and, and uh, again, to do what we did again, uh, you know, it, it's got to be as, two, uh, as, 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 as impressive a two-year run as the program's had uh, since prior to whoever did it before Duke. Um, to me, it is more impressive than what Florida and Duke did. Um, because they brought back their entire teams, and you know we, we uh, you know we lost <laughs> we lost some major players. Yeah, but you would have liked to have had them back. <laughs> wasn't well, your yeah? Wasn't your choice? You <laughs> well, you're gonna you're gonna knock Florida and Duke because they were more persuasive. Listen, UConn they've won six of the last twenty four tournaments. Like, let, let, let's establish why I'm so emphatically saying, yes, they are the new standard before I, I get into what that means for the teams locally and what that means for everybody else chasing them. They've won six of the last 24 tournaments. UNC has six in totality. Duke has five in the last 33 years. Okay? The, 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 all of the arguments, the, it's it's always funny, right? Whenever you make like a hard and fast argument, you always have to be careful because it can come back to bite you. All of the arguments that that the the Duke and Carolina and Kansas and whoever, whatever blue blood Kentucky, all of the arguments they've made throughout the years, UConn can just say, yeah, remember what you used to say to us? Oh, you have five in the last 30 years. We have six and 24. Oh, you have six total. So do we. They have every argument that other schools have used now working in their favor. And you might argue they have a bit better of an argument because they've done it with three different coaches this century. You can't just say, oh, look, you ran into a, a, a mastermind in Coach K and, and we don't know if it's still going on. Now they've done it with Calhoun. They've done it with Ollie. They've done it with Hurley. Give credit where it's due. 
There is nothing wrong. This is where it starts to get into how it affects the, the local teams and everyone else chasing UConn. There is nothing wrong with the realization that someone has passed you. Especially when we're talking programs. If you're talking players, sometimes you will never acknowledge it because you don't have the ability to get them back, right? Like, like uh, you know, I don't know. Diana Taurasi might never say that Caitlin Clark passed her in college career because Diana Taurasi can never go back to college and build on her resume and, and repass Caitlin Clark. So she's just going to dig her heels in and stay there. But if you're a program like a Duke, like a Carolina, there's nothing wrong with the realization that UConn has the upper hand right now. There would be something wrong if you were okay with it. There would be something wrong if you were accepting of it. What you have to be is wildly motivated. What you have to be is, okay, they what, they got 6-24. and 24? All right, by next year, we can get one. They'll be 6-25. and 25. By the year after, we can get another. They'll be 6-26, and 26, and we'll start getting back up there in the rankings. It's a competition. If there were any triggered fans out there when I started this segment by saying UConn was the new standard, good. Use that as motivation. I don't know. Give to your NIL collectives. Pressure your your coach. Pressure your program. Let them know what your standard is. Because if your standard is to be the best, and oh, by the way, my guess is when Duke is recruiting, when UNC is recruiting, they're not out there saying, you know, if you come here, you'll be pretty good. They're probably saying, if you come here, you will come to the standard in college basketball. If that is your expectation, you got to go earn it now because somebody else is, is saying the other thing with a better argument. UConn has rolled through the last two NCAA tournaments. We're, talk, we're, we're not talking about rolled like they've won the last two NCAA tournaments. We're talking rolled like they they've won each game handily. I saw someone saying, uh, like, the argument, right? And, and this is social media, so it's hidden behind a, a, you know, a fake name and an avatar. Uh, but, but the argument was, is UConn the best team of, I don't know, however long, this century maybe the argument was, whatever it was. And the argument was, can you even name one signature moment from the last two tournaments for UConn? And my response was, well, they didn't need a buzzer beater. No, they didn't. They're ahead that. by twelve. <laughs> like yeah. the signature moment, they like what slowly, methodically beating everyone in your path. I'm not saying they're the most entertaining team in the world. Shoot, Alabama was a better entertainment product. They were putting up threes all over the place. NC State was a better entertainment product because they had this scrappy upstart mishmash of different players that were unique in their own way. The, the, the entertaining isn't the name of the game. Winning is the name of the game. North Carolina used to win with four corners. That is the definition of like, hey, can we make this game more boring? <laughs> they had to change the rules so it wouldn't be that boring anymore. Virginia won a national title. Vir- That's <laughs> it. That's all you got to say. <laughs> and we're praised for it in the moment, even though now we look back and we go like, you know what? Their their style of play is extremely boring. Exactly. <laughs> but they still won. Winning is winning. UConn hasn't needed the Michael O'Connell bank in buzzer beater to, to win a championship. That's a credit to them. So guess what, Duke, this recruiting class you have coming in. By the way, uh, Tristan Newton, the the mm-hmm. uh, MOP back-to-back years for UConn. Yeah. Most outstanding player of the Final Four, ECU guy. Yeah. So Duke. You got the number one recruiting class in the country. You have Cooper Flag. You have Malawash. You have all these guys. You have to be able to put up the results that UConn got grabbing a guy from ECU, <laughs> right? Donovan Klingen was a back half of the top 100 recruit. Really good recruit. Most schools would love to have him, but you have to be able to take all your top 20 recruits in the country and do what UConn did building around the 70th recruit in the country. Cam Spencer was a transfer, transfer. from Rutgers. Yep. Yeah, do you know what? He is a, a special case. Yes, well, because he is the most UConn player I've seen in my entire well, there's life. That. <laughs> and, and his brother came, does play in the NBA. And he came from Rutgers. Uh, but but there's and and I'm not by the way I'm not disparaging the the pedigree of anyone at UConn. Uh, Castle was like the ninth recruit in the country. They had that also, but they they were not a juggernaut of monsters put together in a lab to go win a national championship. They just were a juggernaut that went on to win a national championship. Their signature moment was hoisting another trophy. So so if you are North Carolina, 
and you're trying to get the uh, best shooting guard in the country, the ACC Player of the Year, to come back, if you want to chase down UConn, which is a new new place for a lot of programs, right? You're used to being the hunted. Now you're doing the hunting. If you want to go hunt down UConn, there's one way to do that. Hoist trophies. And we're not talking about the small ones. We're mm-hmm. talking about the one that everyone's chasing. Sometimes you got to call it like it is, and the first thing in, in, in acknowledge or the first thing in solving a problem is acknowledging you have a problem. You're not what you were a couple years ago. Now, I'm not saying you're bad. You, you know, second and third, or third and fourth, or second and fourth, whatever, wherever you place them, that's up to you in the blue blood rankings. But number one right now is UConn. Unless you're going to go like, well, actually, it's UCLA. <laughs> Miss me with that. It's like, oh, actually, the Celtics are the, the best in the NBA. They have one title in the last 40 years. Relax. Yeah. Different eras now, people. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. UConn is the rabbit. Go chase him down. Hey, Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Deep River Sporting Clays and Shooting School. Check them out online, deepriversportingclays.com. This actually, I'm going to throw this out there to the brides and the grooms and maybe even the the best man and, and the bridesmaids and the maid of honor. Are you looking for an unforgettable way to celebrate your last shot before tying the knot? Head to Deep River Sporting Clays today. Bring your wedding party for an adrenaline-pumping day of clay target shooting in an absolutely stunning natural setting just minutes away from the heart of Raleigh. Their expert staff over at Deep River will guide you through an exciting and safe experience with everyone you need and really honestly with everything that you need as well then you can kick back in their beautiful outdoor pavilions where you can just enjoy some delicious food that they can provide some drink and just get to relax and just spend that time with your closest friends before the t- before the knot is actually tied make your bachelor or bachelorette party one to remember at deep river sporting clays book today at deep river sporting clays.com again deep river sporting clays.com let the adventure begin the Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. The Canes play tonight their fourth-to-last regular season game. They are at Boston. How can this game help them win in the playoffs? We'll tell you next. Get crazy, Canes fans. It's hockey night in Carolina. He scores! Dimitri Orlov picks the corner, and the Canes take a 2-1 lead. Storm watch with Adam Gold at 6.30. Puck drop at 7. Second chance, they score! Exclusive home for the Carolina Hurricanes. 99.9 The Fan. What are you doing? I'm training for the new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs. I could get a chance to dash through a warehouse full of prizes. That explains the shopping cart. Plus, I could win up to $2 million in cash. And that explains the tuxedo. I'm chafing. Feel the rush with new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs from the North Carolina Education Lottery. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds of winning are 1 in 3.78. Problem Gambling Helpline 877-718-5543. At Bet365, we don't do ordinary. We believe that every sport should be epic. Every home run, every hit, every inning, every play. From the moments that are legendary to the ones that fly under the radar. Whether it's a walk-off grand slam or a base hit to center field, whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary at Bet365. 21 plus only must be physically located in North Carolina. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. A torn ACL, stress fracture, aching back, a hip that's had it, life on hold, and all you want is to get it back. Enter Wake Orthopedics. Our fellowship-trained orthopedists do it all. General, sports, pediatric, joint replacement, fractures, spine, prevention, advanced diagnostics, progressive treatments, minimally invasive procedures, surgeries, and more. Visit wakemed.org slash wakeortho and get back your life. Dude Perfect here. Power up with the new smoothie we created with Smoothie King. It's loaded with pineapple, banana, kiwi, apple juice, and more. Strong me, boys. Perfect shot. Give the dude perfect smoothie only at Smoothie King. Adam Golden Studio with my man, the man himself, Sammy Hanna, owner-operator of the Aluminum Company of North Carolina. So Friday and Saturday, this, open house? This Friday, Saturday, Adam, we're looking forward to not only all of our homeowners coming, you're coming out. We're going to have Doherty's food truck on Friday. 
Vans oh, food truck. Food trucks. Yeah, absolutely. Vans food truck on Saturday. Ice cream trucks both days. It's just a great time to socialize, come out, meet and greet, see all of the radio station talent. All of my employees will be there. All my sales staff will be there to help educate all the homeowners on all the products. We've got some great free drawings, free giveaways. Yeah. Can't beat that. And just come out and socialize. We're here to meet and greet and just talk to you about anything you want to talk about. If you have a project, just bring some pictures. But it is. It's it's cool to meet you guys. And I like hanging out in all the windows. That's what it's all about. Just hanging out. And you bring pictures. We'll be glad to go over any questions or concerns you've got. Aluminum Company of North Carolina for the Spring Open House Friday and Saturday on Hamlin Road in Durham, aluminumcompany.com. Sanja loves to bake, but her feet, they were throbbing. Then one day, I found a solution. Arch supports from the Good Feet store. Half foot pain? Good Feet could help. You too can live the life you love with Arch supports from the Good Feet store. Hey everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for less. And for a limited time, new customers receive their second month free when they sign up and use promo code MONTHFREE by May 31st. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Taxes, fees, and other third-party charges will apply. See website for additional details. If you need bold banners to boost your business, but you're on a budget, think Staples. Posters flyers, signs, and menus for less? Think Staples. Staples can print anything you need to move your business forward. Now at Staples, save $50 on your print purchase of $150 or more. Same day service available on hundreds of items if you order by noon. And all backed by Staples Print Perfect Guarantee. So it's done right or it's printed again free. Staples, your local print and marketing expert. And 6-1, visit staples.com slash print for details. He'll get it to Shea. Now it's just five on four out of the boxes. Kubelik, they'll score! And Gary Kuznetsov! He's soaring right now for Carolina. It's 2-1. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99-9 the fan. The Canes are to the point in their season where they're ironing out details. Four games left in the regular season, postseason staring them in the face. That's where all of their... Their mountains to to traverse are located. That's where their obstacles to overcome are located. We talked yesterday about some of the schematic details they can iron out. But you know what is just as important as the schematics, as the X's and O's, as the, the, the strategic things in the postseason? The mental side of things. How many times that they're so talented, but they can't get over the hump in the postseason? Oh, every year they're the one of the top seeds, but they can't get over the – it's between the years a lot of the times. So the Canes have to take care of the schematic details. We talked about it yesterday, getting, you know, who's going to skate with who in, in line, um, maybe some some power play stuff they can still figure out a little bit or at least have their, their plan in place. Today I want to focus on the the mental details. They're playing Boston tonight. Right? On the road. Four straight road games to end the season. They just lost to Boston last week. Could there be a little bit, just tiny, maybe 1% of 1% advantage uh, of redemption, right? How important is it of the for their mentals to another team that is a Eastern Conference playoff team, right? Playoff spot clinched, the Boston Bruins. Make sure it's like, hey, we can beat them just like they can beat us. They're one and one on the season, but the win that the Canes had against Boston was back in January. The loss was last week. Also, Boston is two points ahead of them in the standings in the Eastern Conference, so a win moves them in for a tie. And more importantly, do they need to come up with little things like that, a little redemption storyline, little point storyline, just to make sure they aren't coasting into the postseason? Come up with a reason why this game matters. Rod Brindamore was asked if they're just getting to the finish line. This is what he had to say. I mean, I don't like to say yes, but, I mean, essentially, I think every team that's in kind of knows they're in, they're in that, you know, little bit of a holding pattern, and you certainly want to win every game you play, but there's concerns that you would have, no doubt about it, but you can't worry about that stuff. You just got to go play, try to get better. That's a very honest answer. I think most coaches give you some form of, oh, no, absolutely not. We're not looking ahead. And he's like, well, actually, everybody that's clinched a playoff spot is kind of looking ahead. He was asked if they're uh, 
focused on who they might play in the first round, which would be one of those things that you're kind of eyeing on the brackets and looking ahead. Here's more from Rod. We haven't really focused – well, we haven't focused on any of that yet. We, we got – you know, got a big test tomorrow. That's what we're focused on. And then, you know, we'll get, we'll have three more after that. I mean, there's no point in worrying about things or trying to prepare for things you don't have control over. You can, you know, prepare and, uh, and what you do have. So they're not worried about it. You know what I do think they should worry about? And this is part of the mentals of the next four games. Andrei Svechnikov. Worried might not be the right word. I, I should I should backtrack on that right away. Worried makes makes me, you know, it, it brings in images of, like, uh, parents waiting for their kid who's missed curfew and it's storming outside and they're just, like, helpless. And this is pre-cell phones. Like, that, that that's the image I think of worried. Um, a, attention? They should have their attention on, sir, uh, on uh, uh, Svechnikov? Right? Uh, keep playing well. Scored recently. Great. Scored right out the, the, the gate. It was a very – it was a nice moment. Yes. A good game against a really good opponent on the road, a playoff opponent that goes a long way. I want Svetch to start his, like I want a campaign or um a war path. And I want it to start now and I'm calling it the shut up I'm good war path by Andrei Svechnikov. Okay. Which can be taken two ways. One is people that you care about. You know like I'm good, like when when people think you're upset and they keep checking with you. Are you okay? Are you hey, are you upset? I'm good. Like, no, nah, man, I'm good. I want I want to the supporters, like, shut up, I'm good. And to the haters, I want shut up, I'm good. Like, I'm a good a good hockey player. Like, I want you to shut up. I know how good I am. I, so it's the in both cases, it's shut up, I'm good. But I want that to be his his energy going into the postseason. And I think tonight is a night where you can do that, right? Multi point night against Boston. You're looking at your friends? Shut up, man. I'm good. You're looking at your haters? Shut up. I'm good. Same same words, different vibe, right? It's all about tone. That's, that's what my wife says. Did you mean to use that tone? I don't even know what tone I'm using. Uh, but but it, it matters. It does. She's listening. It matters. The, <laughs> the, uh, the other one, I think this is interesting. I was talking with Dennis off air, and we're talking about this, this kind of idea of things they yeah. need to iron out. He brought up a name that I didn't have on my radar. Mm -hmm. Dennis, go ahead and present your theory. If Genning Kuznetsov. You think he needs to step up his game? Yes, absolutely. Look at the last nine games. No, I'm I'm not. No, go ahead. Explain. explain. So you look at the last nine games, zero goals, two assists, a minus one rating. This guy was brought in to be your number two center, Mm -hmm. right? Right behind Sebastian Ajo. He's brought in to produce points, to play on your power play. And over the last nine games, he has not done that. Nowhere near it. He'll probably tell you the exact same thing. In order for their, in order for the Carolina Hurricanes mm-hmm. offensively to be whole, to be a threat up and down the lineup, he needs to be a playmaker where other guys are feet are are scoring off of that. Whether that's Natchez or, or Tara Vine and whomever's playing next to him, he needs to be the guy that's the playmaker that creates so many opportunities for everyone else out on the ice. Because otherwise, if he's not going then it's a lot easier to game plan against the Carolina Hurricanes. Okay, and we could stack up against the Ajo line, make sure our top defensive forwards are out there and our top defensive pairs out there, and we can shut down this team. Simple as that. Kuznetsov has to be a secondary scoring threat on a consistent basis for Carolina if they want to go deep in the postseason. I'll tell you why he didn't pop up in kind of my perusing of the roster. He's 16 games in. Yeah. Right. Like So, so I'm, I'm almost still on the – I expect there to be growing pains, right? Because make no mistake about it, there are growing pains. But, sure, but there's he, always an adjustment. He wasn't even – it's not even like he was playing really well on his previous team, right? He he was somebody that was kind of fresh out of out of not playing, mm-hmm. and then he's thrown into the, the Kane system. I, I give him I – mean, We did see a stretch of four games where he had two goals and three assists. So we saw I mean, that. So it's like, okay, we know you're capable of doing it here. I mean, this is where I'm going to use your term. Uh, are you really going to be like 1.25 points per game from from Kuznetsov? I mean, unless you're going to do yeah, it, there, I mean. there it is. Unless unless you're going to do it, but but like I look at somebody like Svech, or I even look at somebody like Foster's, or like people that have been around, and I'm going, 
there's no real reason for you to be slumping. There's no real reason for you to be in an adjustment period, right? Mm-hmm. You, you, you know your favorite restaurants. You, 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 you know everything about this building. You, you know, you know it all. Uh, looking at Kuznetsov, I, like to me, there's a, there's a small line, and I talk about this difference a lot between like an excuse and a reason, right? An excuse is you know, it's fake. It's made up. It's it's you're grasping at straws. It's why why didn't I I uh, take the trash out? Well, it was raining and I didn't have my shoes and, and it's like well no, it, it's a four step walk to the 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 curb. Run out there and run back in. I don't care if you're barefoot. A reason is. Uh, why didn't you take the trash out? Well, I I broke my leg and I was at the hospital and I and I I couldn't. Okay, that's good reason, right? I almost look at Kuznetsov and say your ups and downs. There's a reason. Now I hope you get the up in the postseason or actually in like the four games that are going to decide everything. I hope he has the up, right? Uh, if I'm if you're looking for a reason why somebody like Svech is playing down a little bit, I think you're more looking for excuses, right? It's well, there's uh, his line was a little thrown off. It's like well, he should know everyone on that roster aside from the two new guys. He's been around. So that's also not an excuse for all the penalties that he's taken. Exactly. And all those yeah, things. the yeah. frustration. Well, they hit me first. That's an excuse. Yeah. Right. I was. I had to. I had to defend myself. That's an excuse. So. So I agree. Like. Like you said, if if Kuznetsov wants to go ahead and be a be a, a point per game player, go ahead. Like you, you're not going to hear me object to that. But I'm not. I'm not sure if that's fair to expect it of. Well, and by the way, not that much. I'm not I, I know expecting you're, that. I know you're but, not expecting. But that. he has to be on a consistent scoring threat. Mm. Like the threat has to be there on a consistent basis. The playmaking has to be there, whether it's on the power play or skating at five on five. And it just you're not seeing it right now. And here's the thing. Two weeks from today, the Canes will probably be playing game two of their opening <laughs> round of the Eastern Cover. Like that's how quick this thing is actually going to oh, be yeah. here. Like that's how quick it's actually going to be here. That's why he's got to use these last four games to start getting momentum. Even if he's just a point every other game type player, the threat still needs to be there. That's the most important thing. Because we'll right s- now the threat isn't there. And we'll see if the threat is there tonight. You can listen to it right here on 99.9 The Fan because it is a hockey night in Carolina, even though they're playing in Boston. You can hear it right here on 99.9 The Fan. Uh, Stormwatch ahead of it, aftermath to follow the entire broadcast right here on The Fan. Uh, uh, when we come back, we have some college basketball news, but Dennis has something for you first. Hey, Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Underdog Sportsbook. We all know sports betting's been alive and thriving here for about a month here in the state of North Carolina. Well, guess what? You want to get in on the action? Like some some hockey games tonight, possibly? Go to Underdog Sportsbook. It's the one thing I love about uh, Underdog and their sportsbook app. It's so easy to use. It's so easy to navigate. It's a simple, clean uh, just interface. And everything that you want to use in the app It's so smooth, and that's the one thing I love about Underdog Sportsbook is that because it is so easy for us to understand, and I know a lot of people out there, this might be your first time getting in sports betting and opening up an app and be like, where do I go to actually you know, place my bet? Where do I go to do my parlay or my prop bets? Whatever it is, Underdog makes it so easy for you as a sports fan to navigate and find. That's the reason why I'm doing it. I know probably tonight I might be uh, dropping a few bucks on some Carolina Hurricanes action tonight because – the team is in action tonight, and you can get on the action as well. Download the Underdog Sportsbook app on iOS or Android. Sign up with the promo code DENNIS and use your first bet mulligan, which returns up to $1,000 as bonus funds if your first bet loses. That's Underdog Sportsbook, promo code DENNIS. Must be 21 plus to gamble and present in North Carolina. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov or call 1-800-GAMBLER. Terms, conditions, and restrictions apply and can be found in the underdog sportsbook app with the national championship last night you could say today is the very first day of the next college basketball season one of the triangle teams in the acc has already lost a two-year starter to the transfer portal we'll tell you who and how impactful that is coming up after this hello i'm john heaster for the heaster automotive group and you know we're constantly looking for ways to serve you better One of the ways we do that is with something we call a go-see. And that's where you select a vehicle from our inventory, and we have thousands, and we get one of our product specialists to bring that vehicle to you at your convenience. How do we do that? Well, it's simple. We have a group of employees that are evaluated based on the number of presentations they do. They're glad to do it. So it's just one more way. We get off our keister and bring Heaster to you. It's bow time. (laughs) Something new just dropped at Bojangles. 
Take the bold taste of a crispy golden chicken supreme that's been seasoned to perfection, then add dill pickles, Carolina gold barbecue sauce, and a toasted bun that's great on the go. What do you get? You get a Bose Bird Dog. In fact, you can grab two of them for five bucks. So when you're on the go, headed to practice, or need a snack, grab a Bose Bird Dog. Hurry in before they're gone. Available for a limited time. It's bow time. There's no time like bow time, but sometimes it's go time. No time to stop. Introducing Bojangles' new Bird Dog, a seasoned to perfection Bojangles Chicken Supreme, dill pickles, Carolina Gold barbecue sauce, all on a toasted bun. Great on the go. Try two bird dogs for just five dollars, or a two bird dog combo for just eight dollars. Hurry, Bo's bird dogs are available for a limited time only. When you're hungry for flavor and value, it's Bo time. Now is the time to switch to Spectrum. Get Spectrum Internet delivering fast and reliable speeds for just $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with Nationwide 5G. Ask how you can get a Visa Rewards card up to $500 when you add more mobile lines. Internet, advanced Wi-Fi, and mobile. Get it all with Spectrum One. Go to Spectrum.com for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Restrictions apply. Big Golf Week equals Big Golf News. Global Golf's retail location has been redesigned with you in mind. Now North Carolina's largest selection of pre-owned golf gear has so much more. We've added hundreds of pre-owned golf clubs to the sales floor. And this week only, save up to 20% on your entire pre-owned order. Plus, Global Golf has all the latest golf gear to get you ready for the season. And our PGA professionals are here to help you with fittings and lessons. Global Golf, open Monday through Saturday, 10 till 6, 7320 ACC Boulevard, North Raleigh. Adam Gold here for the one and only Dr. Lori Travers at Travers LASIK, and I had LASIK surgery more than a dozen years ago, and people have asked me, Adam, wasn't that expensive? I'm not sure I can afford that, and I say all the time, well, how much does it cost you every year to get new contacts, to get new glasses, to get prescription sunglasses, to buy all the solutions, do everything you need, because you're going to lose the glasses, by the way. You're going to lose your prescription sunglasses like you lose every other pair of sunglasses. How much does that cost? Well, what if I told you that 24 months, zero financing was available, it's more affordable than you think, and we're going to kick in a $1,000 promotion for the spring. That's right. You'll save a 1000 bucks at Travers LASIK. Now, it seems a lot more affordable. It's also painless. Five minutes per eye. You could be back to work the very next day. All you have to do is pick up the phone now. 919-510-6830. And $1,000 off for the spring. 919-510-6830. Travers LASIK. The Body Armor State Games are coming to Charlotte this June. Registration is open to athletes of all ages and skill levels in 25 different sports. The Body Armor State Games feature 13,000 athletes and 700 teams. Don't miss out on North Carolina's largest sports festival of the year. Visit BodyArmorStateGames.org today. The Body Armor State Games are proud to partner with Truist, Harris Teeter, and Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt free. No credit cards, no car loan, no personal loan. Hey, it's Dennis Cox. Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes with almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle. You can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards, get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips, and approval is just minutes away. Call 919-381-1760, 919-381-1760, loanpronto.com, 919-381-1760. NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. As Roach sends it for Mitchell at the free throw line. Straight line drive and a right hand punch. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Day one of the 2024-2025 college basketball season. Watched. A two-year starter for the Duke Blue Devils hit the portal. Mark Mitchell, according to On3, they had it first, but it's since been corroborated by a bunch of different uh, 
uh, uh, outlets. Mark Mitchell hitting the portal. I have to admit, surprised. Because here's the thing with Duke. They can recruit out of high school till the cows come home. They can recruit out of high school as well as anybody. The thing that they've been missing is the three or four vets, right? The things that they've been missing are the three or four grizzled, been around, been through it, put through the meat grinder, came out on the other side, still feeling good players. They had Jeremy Roach last year. They still might have Jeremy Roach next year. He's a COVID year if he wants it. But but Mark Mitchell, to me, could have been that dude. The sales pitch from, from John Shire and the coaching staff would have been a tough one, right? Because when you're Mark Mitchell, you, 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 you know, everybody is the main, main character in their own movie. But if you are somebody that was recruited that highly and had that much ability, uh, you're definitely the main character in your movie. It's like, it's like a series. There's a whole cinematic universe and you're the main character of it. So, so bringing in that, that recruiting class would have come with maybe some sacrifices, right? Hey, guess what? You're kind of built in a similar way to Cooper flag, right? You kind of would play similar minutes, meaning uh, you would play maybe the, the, the same role. And that obviously means a little bit less for you, but you know, that I'm, I'm going to use a, uh, uh, a Mark Cubanism from Shark Tank. I love Shark Tank. Uh, I can watch that all day. I, I watch the old ones, so then I, I can look up how good the the business is. You know, ten years later, I go back and watch like season four, and then just to see if it, they became anything. So I remember them. Yeah, it's it's that was a flash in the pan. And of course, you know, you can go look it up, and they'll tell you. There's websites, whole websites dedicated to it. But Mark Cuban, right? When someone starts haggling over the. Uh, equity, right? I'm going to give you 250 grand for 10%. And they're like, "No, I want 250 grand for for 5%." And when they start doing that, he hits them with this. He goes, "I'd rather own 80% of a watermelon than 95% of a grape." The sales pitch to somebody like Mark Mitchell is, "Do you want to be the number 1 option on a grape or do you want to be the number 3 or 4 option of a watermelon?" By the way, that's not super like appeasing to one's ego. You really got to massage that bad yeah. boy in there. But it's it's hey, we might win. An, uh, we expect to win a national championship next year. You want to be a part of it, even if that is not the role you're hoping, or do you want to go somewhere else where they'll promise you the world and you'll finish fifth in your conference and you'll be be hoping for an at large bid. Again. Cold glass of water to the face. Not super nice, not super bedside manner. I wouldn't use those exact words, but I thought Mark Mitchell had a role that would have been vital for Duke next year. May not have been the biggest role that he was hoping for, but the role that he would have played would have been vital, and now they have to go fill that role somewhere else, probably in the transfer portal. Because he would have been, if, if Jeremy Roach comes back, would be like the second oldest guy on that roster, really, when you think about it, because Ryan Young is yep. leaving, Philip, or, or anticipating Filipowski and McCain going to the NBA. Um, again, to be determined when it comes to that. But still, like, he would have been, like like you said, the grizzled vet on a team where it's being proven now that age matters when it comes to the NCAA tournament. If, if Roach comes back, they would have a fifth-year senior, fifth-year starter. Yeah. They would have a third-year starter, and if Proctor comes back, another third-year starter, and then you pair that with probably Malawash and and Flag in the the starting lineup. Caleb Foster, Foster off the bench. The rest of that high class recruiting the the Harris, the Evans, the uh, Knipples, the the TJ Power. If he develops into something, there's like that becomes suddenly a team that played due to Caleb Foster's injury. Five guys, right with with one of them being a freshman, to suddenly you can play nine with an equal amount of experience and inexperienced. And as we saw this postseason, just the nature of having like three or four juniors and above, your your team handles the the roller coaster of March Madness significantly better. But here's the thing with Duke. And here's the, like, you know this when you go to Duke, by the way. They, they, they don't mourn the 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 left, right? 
if you if you leave, once you're gone, they're not saying, oh, poor us, we had this great player, and now he transferred to blah, blah, blah. They're going, who's the next five-star that's going to take his mm-hmm. minutes? ESPN put out their way too early top 25. It, uh, they do it every year. It comes out minutes after the the um, the final, right? Minutes after the championship ends. They put out their way too early top 25, which actually has never really made more sense because – Really, the 2024-2025 season started a month ago with transfers and everything else going on. Uh, so there's actually something to judge as far as like how well you're doing for next season. Man, Keats was for NC State was already bringing in transfers for next season before the run was even done. Yep, and 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 um, who do we talk? Oh, Brad Underwood from Illinois, uh, the head coach for Illinois. We talked to between the Sweet 16 and the Elite Eight, they have like you know 42 hours or whatever between games. He's like, I was making calls into the portal. I was I was recruiting in between those two games. So next season has already started. Duke, number one, according to ESPN. Number one team in the country. And that's not even accounting for, they're assuming Jeremy Roach leaves. They had some blanket rules for ESPN's way too early top 25. One of them was if the only year you have remaining is a COVID year, they assume you're gone until you're, you announce you're coming back. So Jeremy Roach, they did not have as a returner. Jeremy Kane and Filipowski, they did not have returning because one of the other rules was if you were projected to be drafted in the top 60, they said you're gone. Yeah. And now Mark Mitchell is in the transfer portal. Guess what? I still believe they would be number one because that's the nature of Duke. Mark Mitchell's gone? Cool. Cooper Flagg will play more minutes. He's the projected number one pick in the NBA draft next year. He's the number one recruit in the country. Sean Stewart probably getting a lot more minutes, a lot more opportunity. He'll have to battle with Evans, and he'll have to battle with Harris, and he'll have to battle with whoever else is in the mix. Some transfer. I guarantee you they bring in a transfer big. I guarantee you they noticed they did not have a a true veteran rim protector, um, and and they'll go bring in that transfer, right? Because as good as, as Malawash is, as good as some of these recruits are, they're, they're going to want somebody that's a proven shot blocker and rebounder at the college level. And there's some out there, right, a, like a CAA player of the year, an Ivy League proven guy who, unlike Mark Mitchell, who's a two-year starter at Duke and leaving, they they probably would just get pretty pretty jazzed up to wear the Duke uniform, right? It's a it's completely different uh, thought process when you haven't done it for two years. So Mark Mitchell out. I'm surprised. I thought he would play a vital vital role uh, and and really help a team that's going to have a ton of talent. But I really don't think it slows things down. Right? It's it's Duke now goes from number one on the ESPN way too early college basketball poll, and and Mark Mitchell leaves, and they tumble all the way down to still number one still, in, yeah. in the ESPN way too early college basketball poll. I think it also goes to show you as well is that when it comes to the world of college athletics, just because you have success at a high-end program doesn't mean your players aren't going to potentially leave. I, everyone has their own reasons for why they want to go, whether it's they want a different opportunity, whether it's NIL money, whether it's more playing time, whatever it is. Like you said, Mark Mitchell was a starter. Started what sixty plus games over the last two Average years. Twelve at, points this year at Duke. At Duke, like not many. I mean, guys would kill for that opportunity. You know, to be like, yeah, I'll be the number three or four scoring option and start every game my first two years of my collegiate career at Duke. Yeah, I want to be part and of win that. an ACC championship and go to an Elite Eight. Yeah, I'm like, who wouldn't want to be part of that? The the interesting part is, I, I wonder what the uh, the per- percentage of once one of your parents tweets something about your role on a team, how many of those players transfer the upcoming offseason? That's a good point. It's probably near 100%. If you uh, Early in the season, Mark Mitchell maybe wasn't scoring as much as, as he hoped or, or was expected, and his his dad tweeted something out about, you know, he, he he's a scorer and da-da-da-da. Then he had a stretch of like a bunch of 20-point games, and I was like, hey, look, his, his dad lit the fire in the right place. Ends up in the transfer portal. I, like it's got to be above ninety percent. If your parents at any point in time during the year tweet something about how your role or you're not being used correctly or you should be doing more of this, it's like, well, enjoy him while he's here because he's going to be in the portal pretty quickly. Uh, elsewhere in the the ESPN top, way too early top twenty five. Since we're talking about it, let's talk about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, UConn. We talked about them being the standard earlier in the show. Um, they're getting like the. The Coach K, Roy Williams, like that Duke treatment, that Carolina treatment, which is 
there's a good chance they're going to have to replace all five starters and their sixth man, either due to eligibility running out or going pro, like the Klingon and the Castles are probably going to be on, on their way out. Uh, but Spencer and, and uh, Diara, they have a bunch of others that are just their their eligibility's up. Uh, they're picked fourth in the way to early top 25. That's just on some, they'll figure it out. We can't put yeah. them outside the top five. We'll get a few top end transfers. Hurley's seeing the field well. He's he's gonna he's gonna make the right adjustment. UNC is fifteenth, but I'll I'll give you this, Carolina fans. Before you write letters, before you you go to ESPN and go, you guys don't know what you're talking about. ESP, uh, ESPN has you at fifteenth. We were a one seed. They could easily vault up. Again, the rules I said earlier mean R.J. Davis and Harrison Ingram are being treated as if they are not returning to, to Chapel Hill. If one and or both of those guys go back to Chapel Hill, they're a top 10 team this far in advance easily. Maybe, maybe even higher. Right, If you bring back the uh, Jerry West award winner for the best shooting guard in the country and the ACC player of the year, that helps. And and if you listen to this show, you know how much I'm a fan of, of Harrison Ingram's game. Uh, either way, Elliot Cadeau, Seth Trimble are going to have to be bigger parts of the team, but I like that. I think part of their fault in, in going out in the Sweet 16 was those two guys didn't play enough in the second half. I'm a fan of them playing bigger roles. If R.J. Davis and Harrison Ingram come back, the, the ceiling is the roof for that team. Yeah, see what I did there? The ceiling is the roof. Me and MJ, we use we use the same misquoted cliches. Uh, Miami is 17th. Uh, Miami plays the NIL game well. They were not super good this year, to say it lightly. Um, but they have a, a the number six overall recruit in the country. They have a bunch of money to spend on NIL. A bunch of transfers coming in. They're expected to transform. And that is it for the ACC. Three teams in the top 25 for the ACC. The disrespect starts early. The disrespect starts early. When there's four teams in the Sweet 16 next year, let's remember this list. Out of the four teams that they put in the tournament because everyone else is being knocked by having a down ACC because they didn't have enough in the way too early top 25. You have got to be kidding me. It's a, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. They put none of them in the way too early top 25. So then early in the season, in the preseason, uh, they don't have many because it's like, well, they weren't that good. They're, they're, they're raw. They don't have the natural talent. Then you beat them early on, and it's like, oh, that doesn't mean anything. You didn't beat anybody. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9, the fan. Uh, another thing going on here. Another thing going on here. Dennis is holding his, his his hand up. Is there something you need to to, to tell me? Real. Uh, all this transfer portal news. I got a little more I, for I, you. I'm so curious right now. Paul, our program director, came in and it, it looked like like eyes the wide as wide as saucers there. Seth Trimble, North Carolina transfer portal. Well, everything I said about Seth Trimble taking <laughs> a bigger role next year, I want you to know I did not know that was. On the way. Seth Trimble, really? You know you know what this is? This is, you don't have to be upset to to want to leave. Seth Trimble, and, and you can correct me, you obviously uh, were around him as, as much as I was. Uh, he announced this on his Instagram, by the way. Um, his parents sat right behind us at the ACC tournament. Seemed to be having the time of their lives. Yeah. Uh, he had one of the, the biggest electric plays a dunk in the ACC tournament that got had everyone out of their 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 seat uh Seth during media availability always had a smile on his face always seemed like he was enjoying himself you brought it up earlier right just because you're having success just because somebody has a role on your team doesn't mean they're all gonna stay that one's surprising to me because obviously the the reason might be like that might be a listen I love everyone at North Carolina I enjoyed my time there's something I'm looking for that that isn't available here or maybe a role that's bigger. I want to be featured, and I'm former this, former that recruit. It's like there there was not the parent tweeting about role as kind of the canary in the mind early in the season, in the mind early in the season. It was it was much more of a uh, – this one comes out of nowhere for me. So he posted it on his Instagram. I, honestly, instant reaction thought on this. Maybe he's thinking – 
well, if R.J. Davis comes back and Elliot Cadeau comes back, I want to be a starter. I'm going to be in the year three. I want to start somewhere. And honestly, he could start for a lot of places. Oh, heck yeah. A lot of places. Um, Do you think that now we're into inference? The the news is Seth Trimble announced on his Instagram he is going in the transfer portal. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you think that that was in in kind of a – would the catalyst for that was maybe a text to his buddy R.J. like – Hey, be real with me. Is there a spot for me to start at the the shooting guard? Yeah. Or, or you know, you you have the resume, the bona fides. I'm I'm aware of what happens if you come back. Uh, like just just shoot it shoot it straight with me, and maybe like a, maybe it wasn't like, hey, I'm coming back. You probably want to bounce. It may have been. I don't know. I'm seventy thirty. He played a vital role for Carolina this past. Season. I'm a big fan of Seth Trump. Yeah, as am I. Here's here's where we have to get into the. Now again, this is all play in, great defense. This is all time, inferring, trying to read tea leaves here. Um, I think a big reason why I didn't agree, a big reason why I didn't agree with the way Hubert Davis coached their Sweet 16 loss, is because in the second half, Elliot Cadeau and Seth Trimble were basically relegated to audience members. Mm-hmm. They they the two of them combined in the second half played as much as uh, uh, Wojcik, uh, which yeah Paxton Wojcik. Uh, I always want to call him Peyton Wojcik. Yeah. Uh, Paxton Wojcik, which which is he he was not there were points in the season he was not playing in the rotation really at oh. all, and then in in one of the biggest games or the biggest game right because it's the one that ended their season, he played as much as as Seth Trimble and Elliot Cadeau combined in the second half. Could that have been a, a oh that's what you think of me? I don't I mean again you you, you have to look into it and and players. I'll tell you exactly when we're going to learn what really happened with Seth Trimble, okay? I'll tell you, this will be the exact moment we learn why he transferred. Probably 15 years from now, he'll be on Theo Pinson or Tyler Hansborough's <laughs> podcast, and and they'll they'll say, like, who do you – Who's our biggest rival, Duke or State? And they'll they'll laugh about that. Then they'll they'll tell some stories about Armando Baycott, and then they'll go, so what really happened? And and he'll say, man, this is what happened, and he'll explain it, and it'll be something that none of us saw coming. But that's that's just the the life cycle of a North Carolina player at this point. Uh, we get the real stories. Raymond Felton just went on some podcast and aired some dirty laundry with Rashad McCants. Uh, and McCants is on a podcast with Gilbert Arenas airing dirty laundry constantly. Um, so it's it's that's kind of the the life cycle of a North Carolina player. You play at North Carolina, you have your success, you have your struggles, whatever it is. You go on to life outside North Carolina. A few years later, you're on a podcast and you you to use the term the kids use, you spill the tea. Um, but I'm I'm surprised by Seth Trimble. He seemed like a guy that maybe was going to end up a four year guy at North Carolina and and have like I could see him being like weirdly like um you know third all time in steals or something like that at North Carolina second all time in steals or guard blocks or uh, something along those lines and and obviously that's not going to happen because he's in the portal. Uh, real quick before we move on real, yep. real fast. Get a great deal this spring on a new train heating and cooling system. Train systems are engineered to keep up with you. Visit traininfo.com to find your local independent train dealer and learn more. It's hard to stop a train. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Which, by the way, yep. Seth Trimble is from Menominee Falls, Wisconsin, just outside Milwaukee. Maybe Marquette is in need of a transfer. Interesting. Which is Marquette's located in Milwaukee, for those who don't know. <laughs> And well, I would have been weird live, if you were like Marquette's located in Oklahoma City. I, I live for a short <laughs> bit just outside of uh, of just outside of Milwaukee. So he's a former top fifty recruit. The dude, yeah. the dude has some, dude some, play. some bona fides, some le- legitimate like don't mess around with me. I'm pretty darn good uh, parts of his resume. The drive with Tim Donnelly, ninety nine nine. The fan. The wait is over, everybody. Uh, just about a month ago, DraftKings Sportsbook, uh, an official sports betting partner of NASCAR, went live in North Carolina, and now you can legally bet on all your favorite sports anytime, anywhere, right here in North Carolina with DraftKings. For a limited time, new customers who sign up with promo code Tim D. That's T I M D with no spaces and bets five dollars. You can receive two hundred and fifty dollars instantly in bonus bets as soon as you bet that five dollars. DraftKings has the best features, including same-game parlays, player props, and more with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips. When it comes to tonight's Canes game, we were talking earlier about maybe Kuznetsov needing to get into the the point production side of things. 
If you think he will, he's plus 390 to score a goal in tonight's game at Boston. That means you bet 100, you win 390. So there are the odds for you. It uh, could be an interesting one. You might want to check it out. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app to do just that. And if you use promo code TIMD to sign up and bet $5, you will get $250 instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code Tim. D, the crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 877-185-543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus, North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. NASCAR is not a sponsor of this promotion and used under license. We're going to take a break. When we come back, this hour flew by, but it's time for football at four. Who is the player the Panthers are betting on the most? I'll tell you next. 99.9 The Fan and Dogwood State Bank congratulate the North Carolina State basketball men's and women's programs on their historic runs in this year's NCAA tournament. Their amazing play leading to the final basketball weekends in Phoenix and Cleveland provided us memories to last an entire lifetime. Thanks for inspiring us to never give up. Thanks for making us all believers. Once again, Dogwood State Bank congratulates the North Carolina State basketball men's and women's programs on their amazing play. Go Pack! The best thing about pollen? It's temporary. Just like the Autobell Car Wash Pollen Pass. Enjoy three months of unlimited car washes. Get your pass today and save at any Autobell. And when the pollen ends, so does your plan. People can tell. We do Autobell. Pulling up to Mickey D's just for drinks? Oh yeah, that's me. Nothing extra, just perfection and a straw. Coming in hot for the coldest cups on the block. Because there are drinks. Then there are drinks from McDonald's. Now get an ice cold lemonade, frozen Coca-Cola, or iced coffee. Any size for just $1.79. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth? Consistently refreshing and consistently light. You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Pros save big every day when you buy in bulk at Lowe's. Save 10% when you buy 68 or more select OSB sheathing. Plus, save an extra 5% every day on eligible purchases when you use your Lowe's business credit card. Visit us for the materials you need. Lowe's knows savings. Lowe's knows pros. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, discount taken at time of purchase. See sales associate for details. 5% offer subject to credit approval. Exclusions and terms apply. See store Lowe's.com slash credit for details. U.S. only. QC Kinetics announces the arrival of national medical director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup, an acclaimed orthopedic surgeon with two decades of experience and extensive research in regenerative medicine. I was one of the first orthopedic surgeons to do it, and at the same time I integrated clinical research that's resulted in several publications that are really directing the future of regenerative medicine. I was drawn to QC Kinetics after I reviewed their protocols, and everything they were doing is consistent with my own approach. Today, Dr. Scheinkup leads the entire team of medical professionals at QC Kinetics, taking this exciting medical breakthrough to a whole new level. What we are doing at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Get lasting joint pain relief. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. This is the future of medicine. Call QC Kinetics, 919-400-5473. That's 919-400-5473. In Cary, Clayton, Raleigh, and Wake Forest, 919-400-5473. What are you doing? I'm training for the new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs. I could get a chance to dash through a warehouse full of prizes. That explains the shopping cart. Plus, I could win up to $2 million in cash. And that explains the tuxedo. I'm chafing. Feel the rush with new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs from the North Carolina Education Lottery. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds of winning are 1 in 3.78. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Even easier than choosing Charles Barkley in a pickup game. We'll take Barkley. Ha! First pick! Sorry, kids! Yep, even easier than that. 
With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? Okay, here's the plan. Pass me the ball every time. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com slash bank for details. Capital One and a member FDIC. This hour on the Triangle Sports Leader is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. Shoot, he scores! Go to GotBrian.com. That's GotBrian.com. WCMC HD1 Holly Springs. Take us with you on radio, web, app, Alexa, and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. I'm WRAL meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner. Cloudy skies this afternoon, a few scattered showers and a high of 76. Overnight tonight, it's a warm one, 71 degrees under mainly cloudy skies. And tomorrow's warm too. We'll see a high of 78 with a few light showers during the afternoon. Weather update brought to you by Newcomb and Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit NewcombandCompany.com. Four o'clock check of your money. Dow Jones down eight points to 38,884. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Everybody pay attention. Right now is your chance to see the storm surge in person. It's time to qualify for a our 10K playoff payout. Right now, I mean right now, literally right this moment, be caller number 9 to 919-860-5326. That's 919-860-5326. Two six, and you'll have a shot to win playoff tickets and perhaps a share of ten thousand dollars. Call number nine to nine one nine eight six zero five three two six. Listen tomorrow for another chance to be a part of the ten k playoff payout, driven by your Carolina Ford dealer for great offers on a new Ford truck or SUV. See Carolina Ford dealer today. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. While Dennis figures out who's caller number nine, today is just a day with with. 10k vibes uh i need to uh, big thank you i need to give a big thank you to all of you uh and and hopefully many of you are actually who this thank you should should go to um we have been pushing here at 99.9 the fan for the last uh few months a few weeks whatever you want to call it uh to reach 10,000 subscribers on our youtube page We've done it. We are over 10,000 subscribers. Uh, I can't be more appreciative. When, when I got here about eight months ago uh, to this on-air lineup, I think we were at three or 4,000, um, and it's been it's been a priority. A lot of hard work done behind the scenes, a lot of hard work by Dennis, uh, Victoria, Adam Gold, uh, Victoria and Adam, obviously, from from the show previous to this one, uh, the Adam Gold show every weekday from, from noon to three. Uh, but not just that, all of our behind-the-scenes scene behind the scenes staff um and then of of course all of you um so so thank you for making it happen and now the good news uh we have a pretty sweet giveaway going on um and it's in honor of 10,000 subscribers but i mean it'd be kind of weird to to not use our youtube channel in some way to to give out the prize for 10,000 subscribers so there's a video out right now featuring Dennis myself uh Victoria and Adam on our YouTube page, 99.9 The Fan, that'll explain to you what you can win, how you can win it, what you have to do, and everything that goes along with our, our 10,000 celebration giveaway. So uh, so go check out our YouTube page, 99.9 The Fan, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe while you're there. Uh, that may be part of the the giveaway. Maybe I'm, I'm teasing a little bit. Uh, so go ahead, check it out. Again, 99.9 The Fan. Uh, Dennis, who do we have on the line? We have Jake from Rougemont. Jake from Rougemont. Jake, are you there? I'm here. All right. Uh, in order for you to uh, be thrown into the mix to qualify for the 10K playoff payout, you have to get this question right. Are you prepared? I'm ready. Okay. Uh, the question is, how many minutes – these are very difficult, very hard uh, hockey questions. How many minutes are in an NHL period? 15 minutes. I'm looking at the judges. We're getting we're getting a no. We're getting oh, 20 minutes. 
Uh, the yeah, 15 yeah. was not correct. So uh, so we, we appreciate you for trying, but we're going to the next caller, number nine. Call in right now, 919-860-5326, if you can answer that trivia question. 919-860-5326. You'll have a shot to win playoff tickets and perhaps a share of $10,000. Caller number nine to 919-860-5326. Pretty soon we're going to have to make – like we are trying to – we don't want to be – we don't want to be bad guys in this situation. We don't want people to call in and not qualify. We're, we're – can we make it any easier? I even gave I even gave the pause there for Jake where I was like, let's see if he corrects himself, but but it, it took him too long. Once the buzzer gets sounded, there's nothing we can do. Uh, so you'll have a shot to win the playoff tickets if you can call in. Be caller number 9-919-860-5326. By the way, if you're just tuning in, some breaking news uh, just a, uh, a few minutes ago, really. Seth Trimble, uh, sixth man wing guard for the, the North Carolina Tar Heels, a former top 50 recruit, uh, according to his Instagram, so straight from the horse's mouth, is going into the transfer portal. Uh, I did not anticipate that. I thought, especially if R.J. Davis uh, left after this year, I thought he would actually have a bigger um, bigger role this season. So him being into the uh, into the transfer portal was a surprise, but that news did break not long ago. We have Jason from Rocky Mount. Jason this thing another from shot. Rocky Mount. Jason, are you there? Jason, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. How okay. y'all doing? All right, we're doing well. I'll be doing better if you can get this question correct. This is to uh, to qualify for the 10K playoff payout. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. How many minutes are in an NHL period? 20 minutes. Correct. There you go. Let's That's go, how Jason. It's done. If nice. You were, if you were listening, the previous caller who got it wrong initially may have given you a little hint on that one. But, uh, hey, but man, tell him thank you. There you go. <laughs> That's a hat tip, and, and, and I appreciate it. Uh, if, if you end up winning the, the 10 K, then I don't know, maybe throw them 20 bucks. Uh, we, we, uh, we appreciate you for calling in, sit on the line. Dennis has some, uh, some info he needs to get from you to make sure you, you're qualified and, and everything's in there. All right. No problem. Thank y'all. Have a good day, man. Thank you as well. Everybody else listen tomorrow for another chance to be a part of the 10 K playoff payout driven by your Carolina Ford dealer for great offers on a new Ford truck or SUV. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. Now let's get into football four. Let's move the chains. Time for football at four. Feels like forever ago. It was like seven minutes ago, eight minutes ago. I teased that the Panthers were taking a big bet. They were they were kind of putting their chips in the middle on one player. That player? Iki Aquanu. Let me explain how. Let me explain why. And let me explain why I don't necessarily disagree with it, even if I'm not sure the odds are there that it's a winning bet. Um, according to uh, some online st- statisticians, uh, the 2024 pass protection expectations. So these are basically how good your offensive line is expected to be based on the starting lineups that are expected and and things like draft capital and and, and production and everything else. It's, it's equations. Uh, in the NFL, the order of best pass protection expectations, so how good your offensive line will be in pass protection, um, the order goes Lions number one. Makes sense. They've spent a ton of draft capital and money on offensive line. Eagles number two, same thing. Colts number three, same thing. Ravens number four, same thing. Panthers number five. According to this list, uh, and, and let me make sure I give my, my proper uh, attributions here. Um, according to this list, which is from Ben Baldwin, there we go. That's the statistician I was talking about. Um, the Panthers have the fifth best expectation of pass blocking. Now they did add those two guards. So this is not exactly saying like, oh, they're just going to improve from last year. They've spent money. Um, here's the interesting part. The number for Iki Aquanu at left tackle, not great. Okay, the four above the Panthers on this list, their left tackle has at least a grade, a rating, a prediction of 88 out of 100. Iki Aquanu, 68. That's a big difference. 
And at first my thought was, oh, gosh, how did they not? Why didn't they try Icky at, at guard and bring someone else at tackle? If you're going to spend all that money. And, and then I, I, I reeled it back in, right? Yeah, put the, the, the 16-wheeler backing up, right? Beep, beep, moonwalked a little bit. You have to place your bet somewhere. Right? If you're the Panthers, if you're Dan Morgan, you have to place your bets somewhere. You can't put a sure thing at every position. If you could, you would. If you could put a sure thing, at, if you could spend $100 million on every position in your starting offense, you would. But you can't. That's not how it works. That's not how life works. That's not how football works. That's not how the NFL works. So you have to pick and choose your spots and 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 place your bets. The the Panthers are betting on Icky getting better. And if they are right, watch the heck out. If they are right, suddenly what was a point of stress last year beyond all, all belief, right? The offensive line, the Bryce doesn't have any protection. The uh, running backs don't have any holes. But but behind it, like the, the stress that came with that, there would actually be a strength. But that's if they're right. If they're wrong, I'm not sure if it really matters how great your offensive line is if your left tackle, your blindside protector, is, is a turnstile. So this is a high-stakes bet, but you had to make one somewhere. Now, this is why I don't think it's it's the best odds bet. I watched the team last year. I didn't see it for Icky, meaning there was a lot left to be desired from Icky Aquanu as as a left tackle in pass protection. I think he was a pretty good road grader in, in run blocking, but in pass protection, he was confused. Uh, twists and stunts from the defensive line, misdirections and 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 pick set really got him confused. And and that right there, I'm going, right, that's the guy you want to bet on? But they are the ones putting their necks on the line, which means they must have a plan. Maybe they think he was being used improperly. Maybe they think he was being taught a technique that, that wasn't the best for his skill set. Maybe they thought the left guard next to him should have been helping him more, and now they have a different left guard next to him. Whatever it is, you have to, you have to when you're putting together particularly a rebuild, you have to take your chances somewhere on the roster. Ikki Aquanu showed everybody something when he was a top 10 pick in the NFL draft, so there's probably worse places to place your chips. That doesn't make it a 100% bet. There is no such thing. No. But it, it does make it maybe one of the more high-reward bets. If he works and you have the offensive line settled from the inside with the two guards, Hunt and Lewis, that, that you you paid all that money to, and Moten over there on the right side has always been a, a, a advanced analytics darling. If you have Icky playing well, suddenly Bryce Young in his second year has a very good offensive line in front of him. It, it's a big if, but but if the, the prognosis come, comes back positive, you might be in business. Yeah. That, that's like coach of the year style stuff where you take the worst team the year before and they look so much better. And in actuality, it's like you made one bet and it paid off. And this will be the – what I mean, I know he had James Camp in the same offensive line coach for his first two seasons, but it's a new offensive system again because the year before mm -hmm. that when he was drafted, there was Matt Rule and there was Sean, uh, Ben McAdoo as the offensive coordinator. Then last year was Reich and Thomas Brown and the whole jumble mess of what it was. Maybe he just It is needs... a bit like Doctor Who ish, where it's yeah. like who was the who was the doctor at that point in time? There's nine Don't million. Know. Which James Bond are we talking here? But <laughs> nonetheless, maybe it's just a simple just the right coaching staff can pull the right things out of them. They have it might just uh, be as simple as that. Joe Gilbert is the offensive line coach mm -hmm. and Kali'i Kekuiwa. Kekuiva? I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. Okay. He's the assistant offensive line coach. Sure. So those they, guys. They, they've got a couple different guys working with them, but obviously all within the offense built by Dave Canales. But if it works, not only does it make Bryce better, but it makes the running game a whole lot better if this all works out too, which in also turns help Bryce Young. It's just one thing feeds off the other, whether it's positive or negative. For as good as it could be, I think the floor is almost as low as the ceiling. Uh, but the, but you got like I keep saying you got to place your bet somewhere. There's there's zero percent chance they were going to come back where I was like, wow, they solved every problem with a very very high percentage uh, solution, right? It's like 
They they had nine first round picks and and nine hundred million to spend in free agency. So they just solved them all with with just very very good and talented players. There's gonna be a couple projects that you're betting are gonna play better than in the past. Whether that's off the scrap heap heap in free agency, whether it's starting a fifth round pick out of the draft, or whether it's starting someone like Icky who struggled last year. Either way, somebody's gonna have to play well above expectations if you want to get much better from where you were a season ago. The ceiling is the roof. The ceiling is the roof. The floor is the basement. And, and there's other ways to m- mess with those things. Uh, the Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. want to tell you about my friends over at Capital Financial Advisory Group. You can call right now, 800-691-3215, or text Tim to 600-700 for your own seven baby steps box set for free. You'll also get a golden ticket. That is Coach Pete's special golden ticket, which is a $1,000 value to use for your very own total and customized retirement plan. If you're ready to tackle your financial future head on, Coach Pete can help you regain control of your financial situation once and for all. Again, the phone number to call in, 800-691-3215, or text my name, T-I-M, to 600-700. Again, that's 800-691-3215. Make sure they know we sent you, or text my name, Tim, to 600-700. You'll get the box set, seven baby steps for free. We're going to take a break. When we come back, it's time to cop or drop the biggest stories in sports. Stick around. Evan Canty and Michelle are unsportsmanlike. Robert in Raleigh, listening on 99.9 The Fan. What's up, Robert? I got to go leftovers, macaroni and cheese. Michelle, I know you don't eat leftovers. My wife grew up eating leftovers. She'll bake a peach pie from scratch, have one piece, and then it's old. And I've heard you talking about where the best pizza's from. If you've not had Pepe's, Sally's, or Modern Pizza, they're all right the there in New Haven, Connecticut. Connecticut. Yeah. Mornings from 6 to 9 on 99.9 The Fan, the triangle sport. Sports leader. America's favorite car show returns to Raleigh with cool cars, cool people, and good times. It's the Good Guys Night, Rio's Garage, North Carolina National. And it's all happening April 19th through the 21st at the North Carolina State Fairground. Check out over 1,500 of the Southeast's finest classes. Shop the swap meet in Vendor Midway. Experience the metal crunch in Saturday Night Demolition Derby and so much more. And don't miss the return of high octane Good Guys CPV Auto Cross Racing action all weekend long. It's all going down April 19th through the 21st at the North Carolina State Fairground. Get details at Good Guys. At WakeMed MyCare 365, we deliver convenience others only talk about every day of the year. Primary care and urgent care under one roof. Multiple locations, virtual visits, walk-in or schedule an appointment online. From annual physicals and routine care to sinus infection, strep, or the flu, we couldn't be more convenient. Learn more about our kind of care and our kind of convenience at wakemed.org. Did you know one of the best investments you can make? It's in yourself. At My Computer Career, in just a few months, you could start your new career in the high-demand, recession-resistant field of information technology. Isn't it time you invest in you and start a career in networking, cybersecurity, AI, or upskill to boost your current IT career? So, get the ROI you deserve at My Computer Career. No experience necessary. Start now at mycomputercareer.edu. Financial aid is available for qualified students, including the G. To tell you that Kino picks 20 winning numbers, we wrote a winning number of our own. Hit it, boys. You pick up the 10. Kino picks 20. It's easy to play for a whole lot of money. Winning numbers are everywhere with Kino from the North Carolina Education Lot. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds to win a prize range from 1 in 3.86 to 16.63. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. It's playoff time in the NBA and the NHL. Baseball's in full swing and FanDuel is your place to bet on every game. Adam Gold here. And right now, new customers can get $200 in bonus bets guaranteed when you make your first $5 wager because you know me. Go to FanDuel.com, promo code Adam Gold to get started. FanDuel.com, promo code Adam Gold. Then you can bet on anything, slap shots, home runs, slam dunks, all on an app that is safe, secure, and easy to use. $200 in bonus bets await when you place your first $5 wager. Visit FanDuel.com, promo code Adam Gold. FanDuel is America's number one sportsbook. 
Must be 21 and older and present in North Carolina. First online real money wager only, $10 deposit required. Bonus is issued as non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. Restrictions apply. See full terms at fanduel.com slash sportsbook. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional grade industrial supplies. Count on real time product availability and fast delivery. Call clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. Oh, 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 O'Reilly! Check engine light on. Take the guesswork out of your check engine light with O'Reilly Veriscan. It's free and provides a report with solutions based on over 650 million vehicle scans verified by ASE certified master technicians. And if you need help, we can recommend a shop for you. Ask for O'Reilly Veriscan today. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. You want true enlightenment? Well, I'm dropping, 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 dropping. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. It is time for Cop or Drop. Very simple game. You'll catch on. Dennis, take it away. All right, I'm actually going to improvise one here. I didn't have this one written out. This is based off the Seth Tremble announcement uh, by him. Operating without a net. Exactly. Like, whose uh, line is it anyway? Basically. Seth Tremble announced that he's entering in the transfer portal. Based off this announcement... It means that R.J. Davis is returning for his fifth year at Carolina. Cop or drop? Ooh. Cop. Okay. Cop. Um, for a few reasons. Uh, even if this didn't happen, I think there's a good chance R.J. Davis is coming back. Uh, because there are certain players, and this is no disrespect to R.J. Davis. I think um, Zach Eady was this way, and he's a great player. I think there are certain players that are just kind of better suited to the college game. I think R.J. Davis p- proved he's – a unbelievably talented college player. I'm not sure the NBA is going to be knocking on his door to give him a whole bunch of money. There might be a whole bunch of people in Chapel Hill trying to give him a whole bunch of money, though. So uh, so I think I think this is probably a good indicator, a little barometer of Seth Trimble probably checked around with his friends to see if he was going to be the starting shooting guard for North Carolina next year. And if the starting shooting guard who was the best shooting guard in the country from last year was coming back, that probably would have expedited his decision to go into the, uh, the portal. So yes, I'm, I'm copying this. This significantly increases the chances of RJ Davis being a, a Tar Heel next year. I think it's coming back either way. Cause like I said, he, that dude's going to make a lot of money in NIL. If he comes back to Chapel Hill for a fifth year. And it's, it's gotta be fun to just be the big man on campus for the Carolina Tar Heels. Yeah. It's gotta be really fun to be like, yeah, I'm the star of the UNC basketball team. That's worst things to have as your Twitter bio. What else you got for me? Copper drop. Bryce Young throws for over 3,500 yards this coming season. Okay, now we have to we have to we have to look into some things. Um, Bryce Young, 3,500 is the over under. Yes, he had 2,877 last year in 16 games. Is Deontay Johnson is around. Yep. Improved offensive line. We we expect. Dave Canales is around. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm copping. Yeah, 35 is not a big ass. I, I mean, not in modern, like, you know, 25 years ago would have been like, this is going to lead the league. Uh, no, I think, I think, hmm. I mean, that's 205 yards a game over 17 but, games. See, now I'm going back and forth because Dave Canales, I do believe, is not like uh, blowing smoke when he says, I want to run the darn ball. And they are building up the offensive line. And they, you know, I- I've used this stat a bunch, but it's it just shows, like, I need to keep reminding me that this stat exists, reminding myself that this stat exists. So I, I know what we're getting ourselves into with Dave Canales. Last year, Christian McCaffrey, who everyone is aware of how good he is, led the league in touches. He had the most touches in the entire NFL. By the way, stayed healthy for most of the season. Rubbed Get that salt in our wound. <laughs> right. uh, number two in the league in touches was Rashad White. That was the running back for Tampa Bay. Dave Canales was their offensive coordinator. 
Now, he did catch some passes. It wasn't all runs. But he likes to use the running back. He likes to run the ball. He likes to start the offense there. Is this telling you to draft Chuba Hubbard in your fantasy league? Maybe. Is this telling you I wouldn't be surprised if they draft a running back in the third or fourth round? Also, maybe. Is this telling me that or telling you that Bryce Young might not be asked to be much more than efficient? Yeah, but I think they'll find themselves trailing in enough games that they'll have to sling it around. Give me 3,500 was the number. Give me 3,502. Like it's gonna okay. be, it's going to be close, but he's over. All right, so you're going to copy those from more. I mean, again, that's 205 yards a game. But you, I mean, you're banking on no injuries. You're banking on sure. Uh, you know, a few things, but but yes, I think he gets. He didn't do it last year. No, uh, I think he he does it this year. Okay, copper drop. Bryce Young, twenty plus touchdowns this season. See, I'm going for eleven last year. I'm gonna drop this because I I again I'm putting the same stock in what I just said. Okay, I think if they're inside the ten, you're getting a steady diet of of jumbo package. You're getting big guys on the field, and you're you're trying to run the ball. Um, I think that's that's what Canales wants to do. Will that mean some opportunities for some some uh, you know play action dump offs and slips out of the backfield? Yes, um, but I think if he's throwing for twenty touchdowns, that would have to be a lot of you know twenty plus yarders, and I'm not sure they have that. And by the way, everyone's excited about Deontay Johnson, yeah, and they should be. Great trade for the price, especially. Deontay Johnson is notoriously allergic to the end zone. He well, goes, he also had Kenny Pickett as his quarterback, and Matt Canada as his offensive coordinator. At one coordinator. point in time, he went like a full year, had like 100 catches, and none of them were touchdowns. Well, yeah. It was like – by the way, I'm excited for him. I think he's a very, very good player. I think he gets open, sometimes gets cases of the dropsies, but, hey, nobody's perfect. But he is notoriously allergic to the end zone. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop that one. Okay, next one. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick with Panthers related here. I know we just did a little football at four. Chuba Hubbard averages over four yards a carry this coming season. Averaged 3.8 last year. Oh, I am I am copping. Now, you know, I was going to say now we don't know if he's going to be the lead back, but it's almost better if he's not. I think Dan Morgan actually said he was going into the season. Yeah, but I'm, if they draft somebody that can, you know, you don't want to tip your For hat, sure. hat too. But I'll, again, this is just his this is yards per carry. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It might yeah. actually be better if he's not because it's easier to be efficient on less carries than it is on a bunch of carries. Um, I think the offensive line is is going to help. Those interior offensive linemen really help Chuba Hubbard. Uh, cut back lanes, pulling, all those things. Um, but also, I think having a coach that, you know, believes in running the football, Chuba Hubbard is much more of a – like body blow, body blow, body blow, spring one for 23 yards. He's not – give me the ball once and score from 60. He's he's a bit more old school there. So, yeah, give me give me him over four yards per carry. 3.8 last year in a much less advantageous situation. I think he's, he's, he's that dude next year. All right, next one. I'm going to go to college basketball. Let's do it. We saw NC State make the run to the Final Four. Mm-hmm. Copper drop, they get back to the Sweet 16 next year. Say that again. And I mean, you're putting me. Copper drop, NC State basketball makes it to the Sweet 16, at least the Sweet 16 next year. Men or women? Men's. See, here's the thing. Women's a lock. Come on. Well, here's the. I was going to I was gonna loophole my way out of it. I know you were. Here's the thing. Unless you're a juggernaut. It's always smart to take the not going to the Sweet 16. Going to the Sweet 16 is really hard. It's extremely difficult. It's like the reason why we celebrated the heck out of what NC State did this year is because really hard. Like we didn't go like, oh my gosh, they made it to the Sweet 16 because it's easy. Um, I'm 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 gonna drop it. Okay. I'm gonna drop it. That's not to say they. they I mean, I think they could be a you know top five ACC team like it's it all we still have to see what they're going to do in the portal there's so many unknowns um but they have momentum I just I just it's always smart to take no there unless you're looking at you know some kind of juggernaut returning a bunch of players it's just you know I've been around the the betting world a few too many times to think that you know taking taking the one team against the field is ever a good idea all right, next one up here. We're going to switch things over to the NHL. Cop. Copper. Okay. 
Top or drop, Andre Sveshnikov scores three goals between now and the end of the regular season. So final four games, Andre Sveshnikov scores at least three goals. Cop or drop. It's a good number. It's a good line. Yeah. Um, I'm going to cop it. Okay. And part of the reason being I think he's going to be the most motivated over the next four games. Sure. I, I think they, they might rest some of the older guys, give them a game here or there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think they rest Svech. Uh, I think he will be – like I said, he's on his shut up, I'm good tour. He, he's on his shut your mouth, I'm good at this, now watch, tour. And and I want that to be his energy moving forward uh, because there's been a lot of questions on how good he is or how good he's been playing or how not good he's been playing uh, and how frustrated he's gotten. I'm, right, it's uh, – what, what is the line from – you know I'm always good for a, a movie movie quote. Uh, Denzel in Remember the Titans, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You've, you've got anger. Good. You've got aggression. That's better. But it's about harnessing that anger, controlling that aggression, and channeling it into – should I do the, the whole – Into uh, your opponent? Yeah. Yeah. Should I, should I do the whole thing? Um, he has a lot of aggression right now, meaning Svetch. He's gotten a lot of retaliation penalties. He's picked up a lot of penalties in general. Uh, I think it's, it's about harnessing that aggression controlling that anger and channeling it into the opponents for the next four games of the regular season and into the postseason. So, yes, I think he scores three or more goals. Final one here. Cop or drop, Tiger Woods makes the cut at the Masters. Okay, some of you might not know this about me yet. I've said this time and time and time again. There, When I was growing up, there were a bunch of, like, you know, you're a kid, you're a fan of, of athletes. There are athletes that can do no wrong in your eyes, right? They're just... They're superheroes because you idolized them when you were seven years old. You wore their jersey. Uh, Tiger is the last one kind of still still playing for me. right? Like Mike Piazza could not do anything wrong in my eyes. Uh, Allen Iverson was that way. Um, just the ones you gravitate towards being a kid. I became a fan of Tiger, right? I think as many people did in the 97 Masters, only I was five or six years old. And then when I was nine or ten, he was the best athlete on the planet. Uh, so I am a hypocrite for Tiger Woods. I like, he has done things in his personal life that I would hold against other athletes, but Tiger Woods, it's like, I'm not going to, he's Superman. I'm not holding it against him. Uh, so is he going to make the cut? Yes. And you know what? So I'm, I'm copying him making the cut. And if you would have made me cop something even way more lofty and unbelievable, I would have done it anyway, because it's like, that's like saying is, is like, Wolverine gonna win the the luge in the Olympics? It's like, well, I'm not betting against Wolverine. Uh, yeah, it's like, will Tiger Woods win the Masters? I probably would have copped that, but uh, he didn't ask me to do that, so I'm just copying him making the tournament, uh, making the, the the weekend. Excuse me. Uh, gosh, I'm so college basketball in. I'm yeah, so, no, he's he's on the bubble, but I, but I think the committee <laughs> puts him in. Uh, he's Tiger Woods. They need that signature win. He's Tiger Woods. Do I really want? Like, by the way. I like I have friends that bet against Tiger Woods. I'm going. Is that what you want? You want him to have the magical storybook moment, and and he's cu- walking up 18 with a chance at something special, and you're there going like, I'd make 48 dollars if he if he <laughs> puts this one in the woods. It's like nah, what? No. You want to be on? It's it's fun. If you were around in 2019 as a golf fan, it's fun when he's when he's doing something special, and you get to be a part of the crowd rooting for him. By the way, the uh, Masters has their, like, the Masters meal. The Champions Dinner. The Champions Dinner. My apologies on that. It's Masters meal, whatever it's called. Defending champ John Rahm gets to cater a meal for all of the past champions. What would you choose? If you if you won the Masters and you got to pick the meal, what are you choosing? Uh, well, first of all, I would need months to figure it out. Oh, come on. Um, but off the top of my head, and, and uh, obviously everyone's kind of batted this around in their head occasionally, I think I'm going some kind of, like, like – uh, like Philly cheesesteak of some kind. Okay. What about you? I don't know. Bow boxes for everybody. <laughs> Three pieces of frames. I'm kidding. Uh, actually, if we're going to do a North Carolina meal, you have to have obviously some People barbecue. do like to represent where they, where they come from. Yeah. So, so your meal and like Webb Simpson's, if you ever won, would be similar. Well, I mean, will Webb Simpson choose Lexington style or Eastern style barbecue? It's a great question. Maybe both. Uh, they, Maybe they, both. Maybe we'll have a little bit of both. You won That's the Masters. Fine. You've got some scratch. None of that South Carolina stuff, but we'll do the, we'll do the Eastern and the Lexington style. Cheer wine, Krispy Kreme donuts, the whole deal, biscuits, everything that you would want. Like, Hush like puppies. John Rahm is bringing, as he should, he's yeah. he's a Spanish golfer. He's bringing a very Spanish meal. Um, I'd be worried about, like, 
because I, I was the guy that the day before a game, I ate like bland noodles and, and bland chicken because I was like, I don't I don't want any kind of not agreeing with me moments on game day. Yeah, I get that. Uh, and, and morning it was like, you know, very simple uh, breakfast foods. Uh, so, so I'd, I'd be nervous. I'd, I'd bring something that I've tested much, many, many, many times. It is cool. I, I love traditions like that. Uh, the drive with Tim Donnelly, 99, nine, the fan. I've got a fun question for you. You're going to throw a fun question at me. Okay. Uh, 30 years ago today, university of North Carolina, Tar Heel legend, Michael Jordan had his first minor league at bat as a professional baseball player. Yeah. Birmingham Barons. Who do you think of current athletes would be the most likely to pull off that – try to pull off that feat today? And by put that feat, I don't mean becoming a professional baseball player. I mean middle of your professional career transitioning to another sport and thinking you could do it. Just completely flipping? Oh, that's a good question. And just – you know how my brain works. I have I have very analytically thought this I mean, out. Russell Wilson answer. go to play baseball? That's that's a possibility. Yeah. I mean, he, he kind of tried. I mean, he kind of sort of did it. Uh, what was it, Shaq Thompson? Maybe. I'm pretty sure he tried. He went 0 for 34 and then stopped playing baseball and went back to playing football. Yeah, it probably worked out <laughs> for him. Um, Russell's a good answer. Is that your final answer? Yeah, it's one, the first one that pops into my head. Okay. Uh, here's when we go deep he, in the weeds and like Pat Spencer and the NBA going back to playing lacrosse and the PLL. But that's different. That's different. He's. I wouldn't say he's at like the peak of powers yet. Uh, here's Here's what I thought of. Qualifications. Okay. Uh, you can't have a sports specific body, like 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 Zach Eady, or that's just one off the top of my like Carl Anthony Towns isn't going to be like you know what I'm going to go try to play football. He's a seven footer and not super stocky, right? Okay. It's, so you have to have kind of a versatility of athleticism to think you can make the trade. You know, I don't I don't think Dustin Pedroia is under any kind of delusions that like I could have left in the middle of my baseball career to go play NBA basketball. Yeah, I could leave the Red Sox and go play for the. <laughs> You know, Clippers. Yeah, like <laughs> I, it just doesn't happen. Uh, I think they have to be at the peak of their powers, like very, very strong. Okay. Because then they know if this fails after a year or two, I can always go back. So someone that's in their prime. It, like, well, you couldn't be somebody who's like barely holding onto a roster spot because you're like, if I take two years off, they're not going to welcome me back. And you can't be someone who's like 34 because it's like at 36, they might be like, no, you left. I, we don't want you. Um, they have to be the most competitive person in their their group because they have to believe they can do it. And they have to be able to be like, I need a new challenge. That's that's the most underrated part of it. Michael Jordan thought he could play professional baseball. He sort of did it. Oh, absolutely. And some like intelligent baseball people think he would have gone on to actually make the bigs eventually uh, for a cup of coffee because he was older. Uh, and then the last thing is they can't have anything else left to prove in their own sport. Right? Uh, or else they wouldn't leave it. I think I know where you're going on this one. Jordan had already accomplished everything he could in basketball. So it was kind of like comforting knowing if this is the end, my legacy is complete. Uh, after all those qualifications, all that 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 overthinking, I came up with one name. Pat Mahomes to baseball. That's exactly what I was like, oh, you're going to go Patrick Mahomes. He even has the similarity of like, right, Jordan did it because of the connection to his dad. Pat Mahomes has the connection to his dad. His dad was a professional baseball player for a decade plus. Uh, it could be like, you know, me and my dad always talked about playing baseball. Oh, they were to come out more like this. Me and my dad uh, always dreamed about playing baseball so he could go achieve that goal. The arm strength is there. He's already achieved everything he can achieve in football, right? It's it's a bunch of Super Bowls, a bunch of MVPs, a bunch of records. He's a Hall of Famer right now if he walks off the field and never walks back on it. Similar age, Jordan's baseball year was 31. Mahomes will be 29 this year, which, you know, if he plays this year and the next offseason makes the move, very similar. I think if anyone is out there that could try to pull this off, Patrick Mahomes would be the guy. And then guess what? A year later, he comes back to football, wins three more Super Bowls, bada boom, bada bang. It's all following. Somewhere there's a Space Jam mixed in, the right? There's, there's Space Jam. Oh, of course. In which the Charles Barkley character – Travis Kelsey, I've thought this through. I've thought this through. Michael Jordan, who's the the closest out right now? For a whole bunch of reasons, I think the closest would be Pat Mahomes. 
The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Uh, I want to tell you about everybody over at Miller Lending, my partners at Miller Lending, and, of course, that includes Gordon Miller. They are the home of the no-cost loan. What that means is no closing cost. What that means is no third-party fees. What that means is no cost, no fees, zero means zero at Miller Lending. That is always, you know, I've, I've due to moving around, bought a couple houses in my uh, life. There is always that smack in the face where you're like, okay, I can afford this price. And they're like, oh, by the way, closing costs and fees. And you're like, whoa, where did that come from? Well, guess what? It doesn't come at your face like that when it doesn't come out of nowhere and smack you in the face like that when uh, when you're working with Gordon Miller and Miller Lending. So give them a call, 919-447-3377. That's 919-447-3377. Also, as rates drop, in, and many expect them to in the next year, a couple of months, uh, be prepared to get a no-cost refi to take advantage of those rates dropping. 919-447-3377. You can also go online at MillerLending.com. Miller Lending is an equal housing lender, NMLS number 250-2146. We're going to take a break. When we come back, Tuesday feedback. We read your best comments of the last week. Coming up next. Getting ready to take on spring? Make your first move with the reliable performance and power of steel battery tools. From hedge trimmers and mowers to string trimmers and more, save on select steel battery tools. Right now, save $50 on the RMA 460V lawnmower battery set. Real steel. Find yours at steeldealers.com. With AK30 battery and AL101 charger. Offer valid for a limited time only while supplies last. See participating dealer for details. At Bet365, we don't do ordinary. We believe that every sport should be epic. Every point, every game, every layup, every play. From the moments that are legendary to the ones that fly under the radar. Whether it's a three-pointer at the buzzer to tie the game or a player goes two for two at the free throw line. Whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary at Bet365. Official partner of the Charlotte Hornets. 21 plus only. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. If you see me stopped in the McDonald's drive through just staring at the menu with my what should I order face, don't interrupt. It's the most important decision I'll make all day. Enjoy savings every day when you get a McDouble, McChicken, and other faves. Buy one, get one for a dollar. Plus, get any size Dr. Pepper for just $1.29. Price and participation may vary. Valid for product of equal or lesser value. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Spring. New beginnings. Maybe new chances at life in the bedroom. Guys, if Mother Nature needs a little assistance helping you spring into action, Arise Urology Clinic offers the hope and help you need thanks to Core Wave Therapy. Spring on over to corewavetherapy.com to check out Core Wave or call Arise Urology Clinic for Men at 919 459 5400. Again, learn more or schedule an appointment today at corewavetherapy.com. Adam Gold in studio with my man Sammy Hanna, owner and operator of the Aluminum Company of North Carolina. And the company goes back to 1961. I don't think any of your sales staff was there in 1961, but you guys have been there a long time. It's amazing. Yeah, we don't unfortunately have any salesmen that go back that far but with our experience levels it feels like we do sometimes mm-hmm. we've got a great cell staff of six currently dallas Burrow, patrick day ryan monsine john alexander jeff hoffman and danny newman who have hundreds of years of experience in the home improvement industry most of our guys are general contractors so we can get out there and assess your home and develop a plan that works for your home improvement needs i know danny helped me back in 1999 so he's been there for at least 25 years incredible stuff yeah and you say 1999 like it's yesterday but 1999 was 25 years ago it feels like yesterday (laughs) you guys did great work aluminum company of north carolina they'll treat you like family on hamlin road in durham aluminumcompany.com organize easy organize tough customize your work truck or van with upfit solutions from van products steel and aluminum shelving toolboxes data files cabinets drawers conduit carriers ladder racks everything safe and secure everything built as unbreakable as you by adrian steel backed by the best warranty in the business three years thirty six thousand miles everything custom installed by van products so you know it's done right from a single work rig to a fleet choose custom installed upfit solutions from van products contractors when you're trying to stay competitive every dollar counts consider habitat for humanity for your new cabinets and kitchen design services habitat for humanity restores now sells brand new solid wood cabinets 
high quality and manufactured locally, available in multiple styles and color options. Everybody wins because you save money and can stay competitive, which keeps your customers happy and sales benefit Habitat for Humanity Home Projects. Learn more about custom cabinet orders from Triangle Restores at trianglerestores.org. This hour of The Drive brought to you by Train Heating and Cooling Systems. Ready to step into a healthy and active lifestyle? Get a great deal this spring on a new Train Heating and Cooling System. Train Systems are engineered to keep up with you. Visit traininfo.com to find your local independent train dealer and learn more. It's hard to stop a train. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Here's the deal. Every Tuesday, uh, we allow you to sometimes hear your own thoughts on the show. We encourage you to send in your thoughts constantly, right? Comment on YouTube, tweet at us, call in, all these things we ask you to do. Uh, Tuesday feedback is when your uh, your opinions are heard, and, and maybe we'll mix this more in throughout the uh, the week. Uh, right now, though, it's called Tuesday Feedback, and, and Dennis reads the comments, the questions, the concerns you send us, tries to pick out some of the best ones, and we react. Dennis, what do you have? All right, this actually comes from a couple callers at the end of our last segment. We were talking about uh, athletes that might make a, or could potentially transition from one sport to another in, in, in the prime. This, in honor of this being 30 years to the day after Michael Jordan's first minor league at bat. Had two callers call in and say, Steph Curry to the PGA. I mean, he could definitely try. Yeah, I mean, um, he's a scratch golfer. If he really devoted, like, full time to being a golfer, potentially could make it work. Yes, and it would have to be – he'd have to be as maniacal about it as he is with basketball, which I don't see why he wouldn't. Yeah. Because he's played in some, like, some mini tour events mm -hmm. where everybody gets really excited, and then the course lights him up, and everyone's like, well, yep, they're pros. You're, you're like, a very, 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 very better than I'll ever be hobbyist. But uh, but the pros are a different breed, and and I think he knows that. But he he you know he had a hole in one in, in Tahoe at the 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 pro am, and and he's do not get me wrong, very very good, and it's a very good idea. Also, we could also have conversations on whether golf is a sport and all these other things. But uh, but good answer, and thank you for calling. So yeah, that was a couple callers that called in and suggested that, which I'm like, you know what, that makes that makes sense if he. Yeah. Truly devoted good. all that time to it. I think he's he, also maybe a little bit past. Nah, he's still at his prime. Yeah, he's definitely still in there. For sure. If he went and spent like a year playing golf, though, I don't know if the NBA would be like, yeah, $40 million a year. Come on back. All right, so I posted a video of us reacting live earlier this today about the news of Seth Tremble of North Carolina basketball entering the transfer portal. If you have not heard that, Seth Tremble, UNC, is putting his name into the transfer portal. He and, announced that himself. And Mark Mitchell from Duke. And Mark Mitchell also. from Duke. So on the video on YouTube, it's already posted, 99.9 The Fans YouTube page, uh, Mr. B. Mick 79 says, no one wants to sit the bench at UNC because if you're not one through five, you have no idea how much burn you're going to get regarding Seth Tremble entering the transfer portal. If R.J. Davis doesn't come back, I think he is one through five. Oh, yeah. Which actually... Dennis H., which is not my burner account, even though my name is Dennis. Uh, Dennis H. said, RJ is coming back. Seth would not leave if RJ was leaving. That is, seems to be the elephant in the room that a lot of people are reaching the conclusion of. Of Okay, if he's gone, RJ is at least I – mean, I don't know if it's 100%, but RJ may have given him the, the – um, like – Hey, uh, it's likely I'm coming back, right? Like, you probably want to make sure you have a plan B because if I come back, I don't want, like, they're buddies and they get it. You know what I mean? Like, if I come back, I want to play a lot. I also want you to play a lot. We play the same position. Yeah. You're my buddy. Maybe you go somewhere else and then we can both play a lot. Maybe he has visions of Caleb Love and, and R.J. Davis where it's like, you go somewhere else and be the conference player of the year. I'll be the conference player of the year here. And then we'll play terrible in the elite, the Sweet 16. <laughs> Neither of our teams will advance. Uh, maybe write a different ending to that one. Uh, but, yeah, Trimble, I, I think it's – if R.J. Davis announces shortly that he's coming back, I think all of this makes a lot more sense than it does right now. All right, next one. We discussed yesterday about the Carolina Panthers. Their OTAs, their off-season conditioning programs are starting this week. 
and how Dave Canales is the head coach. This is his first opportunity to yep. really set the culture that he wants, mm-hmm. how he organizes and runs things, and it's his first time ever as a head coach. A lot of things for him to figure out on the fly. Uh, this one comes from Michael Harris. Culture starts at the top with ownership. Not going to happen under the current ownership. Referring to David Tepper, the owner of the Panthers. There's, is that first of all, I don't necessarily 100% disagree with you. Yeah. So I'm I'm not ragging on your take at all. But if that is like if you believe in that 100%, you might as well book month, you know, three month long vacations every NFL season until Tepper. Uh, sells the team, right? Because if you think there's no way to build a good culture under Tepper, uh, then it's just, it's every, you know, pick a new team, I guess. I don't know. Like, become a massive college football fan and and mow the lawn on Sundays. Like, I prefer to have some kind of hope. So I think Dan Morgan and Dave Canales can change things. I think they can have a, a culture. I think Dan Morgan can be the buffer. He can be the middleman. You know, I've, I've said this from the very beginning. From the very beginning, as soon as they hired Dave Canales, I said, here's how I would structure the the Panthers facility. I'm not I don't care if it's right or left, I'm just gonna use sides. All the way on the left side of the building, I'm putting Dave Tepper's office. All the way on the right side of the building, I'm putting Dave Canales' office. Somewhere in the middle, I'm putting Dan Morgan's office. And I'm making it so Tepper has to walk by Dan Morgan to get to Canales. And I'm telling Dan Morgan, you leave your door open. And if you see Tepper walking by your office, you run out of your seat and you go, whoa, 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 whoa. Teps, Teppy, my Tepster. Come on in. Baby my- boy, hold on. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Come on into my office. Let's see what you want to tell Dave. Let's see what you want to tell Canales. And maybe I'll, maybe I'll tell him. Maybe you won't tell him. Maybe we'll see. Maybe I can help you. Yeah, yeah you're a busy guy. I'll pass the message can, along. Can I do anything for you? Let me, let me, I might be able to. I think. That's a possibility. And if you don't think it is, if you think Tepper is always going to run over Dan Morgan, which he's not going to do literally, but maybe maybe physically, uh, then what's the point, right? If, if it starts with Tepper, the culture is never going to be good. You're never going to win with a bad culture. So let's just throw our hands up and say, wake me up when Tepper sells. Take a nap. I refuse to do that. I prefer to be more optimistic. All right, so this also comes uh, from – the same Panthers video. Bart Ferris says they need a QB. So this is not a Bryce Young fan. I guess not. Well, okay. Well, how about this? I would argue if you're going to replace Bryce Young or you're trying to help Bryce Young, you act the same. Because here's the thing. Part of the problem, part of the mistake they made with Bryce Young was they didn't have everything else in place before he got there. Right. If you look at what the Bears are going to do really well for Caleb Williams is they built up some of the offensive line. Then they went and got uh, DJ Moore. Then they went and got Keenan Allen. Then they're going to bring in the the quarterback last. Right. And they went and got what was it DeAndre Swift. Mm-hmm. Uh, then they went and got the quarterback last and they're going to put him into a fully formed offense. So if you are a fan of Bryce Young and you think he didn't have the support and you need to fix him. You're going to go get the offensive line. Then you're going to go get the wide receivers. Then you're going to go get the tight end, and you're going to make it all nice for Bryce Young. Well, if you aren't a fan of Bryce Young and you want to replace him, hopefully you've learned from the Bryce Young situation, and you're going to go get the offensive line. Then you're going to get the receivers. Then you're going to get a tight end. Then you're going to get the quarterback to replace Bryce. So it it doesn't matter what you're trying to do. You're doing the same thing, right? It's It's – it's two people that are saying goodbye at the doors of the restaurant and their cars are parked next to each other. Yeah. It's like, all right, man, see ya. It's, been, it's been great times. Good catching up. And then you awkwardly walk next to each other. It's like whether you, whether you are anti-Bryce or pro-Bryce, you're like, all right, man, you, you're you anti-Bryce, I'm pro-Bryce, I'll see you another day. And then you both walk to go get offensive linemen. Then you both walk to go get wide receivers. It's like we're, we're going – it's kind of that awkward, see you again. Bye again. Bye, right, I'll catch you later. Yeah. And you, you're, you're parked right next to each other. You're going in the same direction. All right, last one come he, uh, comes from uh, Squeaky Cheeks, 23. Talking about the – uh, You paused for Squeaky Cheeks to get a laugh, didn't you? Just want to let that one settle in. <laughs> uh, talking about the uh, Derek Brown signing last week. I buy into the offseason hype every single time. Laughing emoji. Why not? 
What, what's what's the better alternative to never have hope? I apparently. If like as a fan, buy into it all every time. Why why not? Shout out to Squeaky Cheeks. Uh, I'm a, I'm a Mets fan. If I didn't get excited about the off season, I would never be excited. <laughs> You would never be well. There's no reason to be excited as a Mets fan. Yeah, no. Every off season, we, some signing, new, new this. Yeah, of new that. course. You get it's it's the only joy I have is the two weeks before it's proven that it's all fake. The drive with Tim Donnelly, ninety nine nine, the fan. Uh, that is Tuesday feedback here on uh, the drive. So so literally, we do read all of your comments. I know we we said earlier we just hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Yes. Very much appreciative of that. Thank you for everybody that's a part of that community. Watch that video there because we're a, giving stuff away. In honor of reaching 10,000 subscribers, there is a video on YouTube, on our our YouTube page, 99.9 The Fan, telling you how you can win some really cool prizes. Uh, so go check it out. Follow the instructions to, to win. Um, but while you're there, comment on something, and you might just hear it during Tuesday feedback. Right now, we have some uh, something want, Dennis wants to pass along. That's right. You. Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Lone Pronto. Imagine this time next week waking up and being 100% debt-free. I'm talking no credit cards, no car loans, no personal loans. Lone Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it all happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Lone Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes. With almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle, you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Here's the thing. Your home value, it's way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards. Get some money out for that home improvement project you've been wanting to get done. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips. And approval, it's just minutes away. Call now, 919-381-1760. 919-381-1760, loanpronto.com. 919-381-1760, NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9. The fan will be back with the starting five. We have yet to talk about this, and it's in the starting five. Carolina might be moving on from the Dean Dome. I'll tell you why. That's a bad idea next. Get crazy, Canes fans. It's hockey night in Carolina. He scores! Dimitri Orlov picks the corner. Watch with Adam Gold at 6.30. Puck drop at 7. Second chance, they score! Jesper Faust knocks it home. On your exclusive home for the Carolina Hurricanes, 99.9 The Fan. Is your heating and air system ready for hot weather? Call Newcomb and Company today to schedule a routine maintenance and ensure your system is operating at peak performance. Become a Comfort Contract customer to receive priority service and a 15% discount on service calls and repairs for HVAC and plumbing work. Newcomb and Company has served the area as a carrier factory authorized dealer for more than three generations. Turn to the experts today. Call 919-862-3000 or find us at NewcombandCompany.com. Newcomb and Company and Carrier. Your comfort is our business. It's bow time. Something new just dropped at Bojangles. Take the bold taste of a crispy golden chicken supreme that's been seasoned to perfection, then add dill pickles, Carolina Gold barbecue sauce, and a toasted bun that's great on the go. What do you get? You get a Bose Bird Dog. In fact, you can grab two of them for five bucks. So when you're on the go, headed to practice, or need a snack, grab a Bose Bird Dog. Hurry in before they're gone. Available for a limited time. It's bow time. There's no time like bow time, but sometimes it's go time. No time to stop. Introducing Bojangles' new Bird Dog, a seasoned to perfection Bojangles Chicken Supreme, dill pickles, Carolina Gold barbecue sauce, all on a toasted bun. Great on the go. Try two Bird Dogs for just $5 or a two Bird Dog combo for just $8. Hurry, Bo's Bird Dogs are available for a limited time only. When you're hungry for flavor and value, it's Bo time. What are you doing? I'm training for the new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs. I can get a chance to dash through a warehouse full of prizes. That explains the shopping cart. Plus, I could win up to $2 million in cash. And that explains the tuxedo. I'm chafing. Feel the rush with new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs from the North Carolina Education Lottery. 
Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds of winning are 1 in 3.78. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. Making dinner, trimming your hair, mowing the lawn. Sure, you can do it all yourself, but why? At AutoBell Car Wash, our team cleans your whole car from the inside out in 15 minutes or less. We do the work so you don't have to. People can tell. We do auto. America's favorite car show returns to Raleigh with cool cars, cool people, and good time. It's the Good Guys Ninth Rio's Garage, North Carolina National. And it's all happening April 19th through the 21st at the North Carolina State Fairground. Check out over 1,500 of the Southeast's finest classes. Shop the swap meet in Vendor Midway. Experience the Metal Crunch and Saturday Night Demolition Derby and so much more. And don't miss the return of high-octane Good Guys CPV Auto Cross Racing Action all weekend long. It's all going down April 19th through the 21st at the North Carolina State Fairground. Get details at good-guys.com. We're with Kevin of Fairway Green. What are most people looking for you to do for them? Our customers are looking for us to use the best, safest products possible to get the best results, as weed-free as possible, the best color possible. And of course, if they have trouble areas or disease issues, we can definitely help them out there. And you really know the grasses in this area. We've been serving the Carolinas and only the Carolinas since 1989. Nobody beats a Fairway Green lawn. Get started now. Go to fairwaygreen.com or call 919-329-0095. Are you struggling to get a good night's sleep? Look no further than Parkway Sleep. For 20 years, we have been your locally owned and operated sleep center. I'm Brandon Giggling, president of Parkway Sleep Health Centers. Did you know that people are waiting a staggering six to eight months for a sleep study at other sleep labs? At Parkway, we understand the importance of your sleep needs. That's why we offer openings within weeks, not months, saving you time. Don't let sleepless nights take over your life. Visit us today at parkwaysleep.com. Parkway Sleep Health Centers. Sound sleep, sound health. This hour on the Triangle Sports Leader is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. Shoot, he scores! Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. WCMC HD1 Holly Springs. Take us with you on radio, web, app, Alexa, and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm WRL meteorologist Mike Mays. We've seen some light rain out there this afternoon. There's a chance of that through the early evening hours. Overnight cloudy with a low at 59. Cloudy with a chance of spotty light rain in the morning. Otherwise, it's a warm day. The high, 75. Weather update brought to you by Newcomb and Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit NewcombandCompany.com. Five o'clock check of your money. Dow Jones today down nine points to 38,883. Market update brought to you by the Good Feet Store. Ready to step into a healthy and active lifestyle? Come to the Good Feet Store and experience the difference. Discover how a simple step can lead to a life of pain-free possibilities. It's 5 o'clock. Time to serve up the biggest sports stories of the day. Here comes your starting five. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. It is time for the starting five. And today, just like every day, we start with number five. I got five on it. it is Masters Week, everybody. PGA fans, golf fans, Masters fans, Tiger Woods fans, Scotty Chef. I try to just list everyone in, in the tourney. The Masters is taking place this week. It's it's. Um, I've never been. I want to go desperately. I've heard it's like going back in time. You can't bring your phone. Everything is like a dollar at the food stand. Oh, that sounds nice. It is. It is. I'm not gonna lie. This sounds very appealing. It's it's lush greenery uh if if you take your chair at the masters yeah you you get there you run and you put it down somewhere you can walk around the rest of the day you come back still your chair yeah i'm sure that i'm sure there's like the unwritten rule like you can sit in someone else's Mm -hmm. chair but when they come back you get up okay we see that like parades here in raleigh it's like an unwritten rule and i respect it. it yeah but imagine like you had parade rules at like the super bowl like front row like it's 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 that it's just it's it's i want to go if anyone has tickets Hook a radio host up. Uh, also, oh, the dollar concession sounds wonderful. It's like legitimately like the most expensive stuff is like three bucks. That's awesome. Tiger Woods is playing. Uh, that's going to bring the eyeballs. That's going to bring the attention. Here's Tiger Woods. He was asked. Uh, you can actually hear the question right here as part of the clip. Tiger, you've talked a lot about some memories uh, uh, 
already today, mm -hmm. but what do you feel like you're capable of doing this week? What do you believe that you can do this week? If everything comes together, I think I can get one more. Um, Want me to describe that any more than that, or <laughs> we're good. <laughs> You're gonna ask Tiger Woods if you think he if he thinks he can win. What'd you think he was gonna say? If everything breaks my way, I'm looking at 25th. Maybe I made the cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if things really go really really well, I could break par. Like, no, he's Tiger Woods. That plus four. <laughs> yeah. It's like actually, I'm just trying not to embarrass myself out there. Uh, you know, these these young whippersnappers are gonna gonna dust me. No, it's Tiger Woods. Um. We're going to talk about this more later in the week, but obviously anytime the majors take place, it's the only time you see both live and PGA golfers in the same tournament, and it changes the dynamic. It makes the storylines different. So we'll talk about that. It's part of the appeal. But mostly um, what I love about the Masters is not only the, the other stuff I said, the tradition and everything. It is a major that is played at the same course every year. So there is an element of you can compare – year over year. It's what I hated about the, the COVID year where they did it in the fall rather than in April. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like, no, this is different. You don't understand. We play the Masters in April and, and you can make comparisons of kind of generation to generation, even though the you know the whole, they extended a little bit and the, the equipment changes. It's still like there's just certain things that are the same, putting on the same greens, all, all those sorts of things. So it's Masters week. We'll, we'll give our picks tomorrow, or at least I will. Dennis, you're going to come up with a couple? Sure, why not? There we go. By the way, I think my favorite part about the Masters itself is the fact that it is the same course mm -hmm. every year. I'm like, yeah. I'm like all right, that's kind of cool. It's it, And especially when, you know, the Open over there in, in Europe has – Probably the longer or the lo it does have the longer history. Mm -hmm. uh, the U.S. Open has the more difficult courses. The PGA has the easy, the, you know, uh, the widest uh, field in the, in the game. But there's something about the Masters just being the Masters every single year. Augusta, it is what it is. That's number five. Let's get to number four. We are the four horsemen. Woo! Hat tip to our friend Brian Murphy, investigative reporter, WRAL Sports investigative reporter. Uh, the University of North Carolina is looking into new locations for a potential new men's and women's basketball arena. Hmm. Moving on from the Dean Dome. I have a very simple piece of advice okay. for the University of North Carolina Athletics Department. Don't waste the money. The arms race in college sports isn't facilities anymore. It used to be. It used to be like, you want to get a top recruit? Well, you need to have a bowling alley and a wiffle ball field in the locker room, <laughs> right? It used to be. Now it's about paying the players. Take the money that you were going to fundraise for a new arena and and put $50 million of it into improvements for the Dean Dome, and the rest put into a fund. Tell the boosters, don't give to the, the new arena fund. Give to the collective and, and then take that cash and put it in players' pockets, and the money will follow. What I mean by that is you win a national championship, yeah, everybody's going to approve spending money on a, on a new facility. But to win a national championship, you need the players. And to do that, you need the money. I just saw um, – let me make sure I, I, I have it right. I believe it was Pete Thamel on the reporting. Mm -hmm. And this isn't basketball. This is football, but you'll you'll see what I – what I mean here, uh, Oregon State star running back Damian Martinez. So this is a running back from Oregon State, according to Pete Thamel's sources, has informed Oregon State coaches he intends to enter the portal. He was set to make more than $400,000 to play for Oregon State this year. Bruh. And he's going in the portal. If a running back costs that much, how much do you think, you know, the best – power forward in the country who can affect winning a lot more than any one football player can that's not a quarterback. How much do you think they're going for? Take the facility's money and spend it on players. And then watch the money funnel back in the other direction when you're winning, when you're you're jacking up ticket prices and you're operating like a business. This all just kind of played out at Ole Miss. Ole Miss had plans to expand their football field. They were going to spend $400 million dollars and, and everybody looked at it and said, you know, I don't think this is the best way to spend our money. Let's let's do modest improvements to the facilities and then load up on NIL money and we'll have a better chance of, of winning, which is really what it all comes down to. 
you go back 20 years, a lot of it was about facilities. Do you know what was the trick when I when I was uh, being recruited? What's that? Delaware would would roll out the the blueprints, the mock-ups. Oh yeah. This is what it's going to look like by the time you graduate. We're getting ready to break ground right now. Look at this players' lounge. Look at this uh, luxury suite. Look at the. We're going to bowl in the end of the stadium. We're. I mean, we are so close to finishing the fundraise, and then we are breaking ground probably by this summer. They ended up building about 10 years after I graduated. Uh, of course. And, and and the thing is, like, you know, you're a freshman, you're in the locker room, and you're like, how cool is it going to be when they get the new weight room? Seniors look at you like, oh, they told you that too? Yeah. Yeah, told us told us five years ago. Same exact. They, did they wheel out the, the mock-ups? Oh, yeah, those are good, aren't they? Yeah. Facilities used to be the way you recruit because you couldn't give the players money. Now NIL is the way you recruit. This is this is my imagination of the number one shooting guard in the country after after uh, UNC builds the best arena men's and women's basketball on campus. It's it's like Disneyland mixed with the Taj Mahal. Mm-hmm. The, the, this is my impression of the the number one shooting guard on his recruiting trip. He walks into the arena, does a uh, 360, looks at it all. Goes, wow, this place is cool. So how much money can you get me? Well, this is a really fun place to play. I hope you guys can beat what Kansas offered me. Like, that's what it is. Spend your money on the best way to get that money into success. So a couple couple things on the this new potential arena that's Let's being discussed. They're exploring both on-campus and off-campus locations. I hate that even more. On-campus, on-campus, on-campus. I, I, on I, I love on-campus facilities. It should be a 10-minute walk love from the it. dorms. That's I, your radius. That that is my preference. If they if they do build a new facility, in North Carolina, I hope you keep it on campus. That's all I'm gonna say. Because it's it's, it's got to be hard for like state students. Like, oh, we gotta we gotta drive down to PNC. Or we gotta drive to I, Carter Finley. I understand. Sometimes I there is no choice. Sometimes you have that. Sometimes I land get it. doesn't exist. But if you can, if you can, or you already have it, yeah, don't change it. Also. Um, my grandfather poured the concrete for the Dean Dome, so I like to say that my grandfather poured the foundation for UNC basketball, mm-hmm. uh, literally. And if they move to a different place, that's not going to be true. So, personally, for my own little uh, quirky little part of UNC basketball history, I'd like to keep it. What do they call it? New place? The new place? Yeah. It it can't be. So you're saying they're not calling it the Dean Dome? I mean, it, do let's they imagine. Keep... Yeah. Let's imagine. It can't be the house that Dean built because it would be Roy's. I need I need a word there. Williams. I don't know. Williams World. I don't know. Williams World. Yeah, Not bad. Go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Roy Williams Arena. That doesn't. That just the nah. the the Ro, the Roey. Uh, Hansbro House. There you go. Could it be the house that Hansbro built. Hansbro House. Um. Hubert House, mm-hmm. probably mm. not a, probably not accomplished. But as a player, hey, extremely accomplished as a player. Carter Condominium, Vince. There you go. I, I'm not. I'm gonna say this one, but Dennis came up with it all fair. She Shack. There you go. She Wallace. Page hey, Place. How about hey, Hubert's House? Hubert's House. But it's. I feel like you have to. You have. To, if he wins a national title, then they're calling Hubert's House. If he wins a national title. That's a big if. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9. The fan, what number was that? I've lost track. That was four. That was four. Let's get to number three. One, two, three. It will not be Trimble's townhouse. Yeah. Because Seth Trimble hit the transfer portal earlier today. Uh, So his legacy as a UNC player wrapped up. Right, it's it's not wrapped up like it's some kind of awesome accomplishment, but it's it's the hay is in the barn, it's done. He's going to be playing somewhere else next year. He is in the transfer. Actually, maybe he could come back. I mean, you you can enter the transfer portal and still return to your school. The Mark, door's not closed. Mark Mitchell, this is kind of a two for Mark Mitchell, two year starter for Duke, mm-hmm. also in the transfer portal earlier today. Both have announced on their own social media, so you know that's about as good of a source as you can have. Uh, both, I would say, like on the surprise meter, they are a surprise. So they're above 50, like, yeah, above five. I wouldn't say either of them are tens. They're like six and a half surprises. Um, 
two-year starters at Duke don't exist often, especially ones that leave. I think this is a, for Duke, the Mark Mitchell of it, is a very much awareness of the incoming recruiting class and an awareness that there's only so many shots and minutes to go around. So maybe Mitchell is seeing the writing on the wall and saying, if I want to score 20 points, it's going to be hard to do that here. Seth Trimble, the the writing on the wall that's probably being read is a likelihood that R.J. Davis returns. R.J. Davis comes back. There's just less oxygen in the room for anyone else that plays that kind of two-guard combo guard spot because, you know, Jerry West award winners, ACC players of the year don't come back to take less shots. You know what I mean? They come back to expand on their legacy and, 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 do things along those those lines. So um, I think there's a little bit of writing on the wall in both of these decisions. Mark Mitchell hitting the transfer portal, writing on the wall being either Duke has some, some eyes for some transfers or they're seeing the recruiting class as one that isn't going to need veteran presences uh, on the floor beyond maybe a Jeremy Roach or a Tyrese Proctor at the guard spot and, and everybody else is going to be ready to step into huge minutes and that might be less for Mark Mitchell. And then the writing on the wall for Seth Trimble would be, and this is kind of where I've, I'm not alone in this kind of uh, end point that we're getting to. A lot of people seem to be getting here where it might be a likelihood that R.J. Davis is, if not definitely coming back, maybe a likelihood that he comes back. And that means Trimble doesn't have the the oxygen he needs to go thrive in a way that that they want to. Here's the thing about both Mark Mitchell and Seth Trimble super legit recruits, right? With top 50, we're talking about some of the best recruited players in the country mm -hmm. and, and they're going to have options. They're going to be, they're oh. going to, they're going to be bells of the transfer ball and, and everybody's going to want to court them. So they're going to end up somewhere with an opportunity to have huge impacts. You want to, you do we want to spice it up? Do we want to mix the tea? Sure. Go for it. Does state make a yeah, play so for you? You're about to say state. I knew you were going to say it. I mean, if they're transfer you, Right, they just took they just took seven transfers in their rotation to a Final Four. Could they sway Trimble or Mark Mitchell? Maybe with even a little bit of like you can prove what what you can do in the ACC, right? Like you always knew you wanted to be a premier player in the ACC. You can still prove that, and you can also you know. If you wanted to go back to your favorite restaurants every now and then, it's really not that far of a drive. Yeah, Raising Cane's isn't far away. Yeah, they're like you know your your parents know the airport, right? There's there. The, the. It would also be, I think, a little bit of a heat check from Kevin Keats. Oh man, where he's like, I made the Final Four, I got the contract extension, I got the money, I got all the incentives. Uh, Trimble, Mitchell, come on over. Those shades of blue. How you like red? Um, I'm I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just I'm just I'm asking the question into a microphone for maybe all of you to answer. Does State make the call? And if they do, do Trimble and Mitchell answer the call? Because Jordan Waters, right, the running back from Duke, he's he transferred to State. He's going to be a part of the State football team next year. Maybe he turns around and says, "Hey, Mark Mitchell, huh? Eh? I need a roommate, somebody that understands what I'm going through. Ipso facto." They probably don't even have roommates now that I say that. They're like NIL money. What are you talking about? I got a three bedroom myself. I like I like to have I like to have extra places. One for my shoes, one for my parents when they're in town. Ah oh, man. In addition to the master, I got four and a half baths in this joint. I don't know how college kids operate anymore. That didn't exist when I was playing. Uh, the drive with Tim Donnelly, ninety nine nine. The fan. That's number three. Let's get to number two in the starting five. Just the two of us. Canes play tonight at Boston. This the, we're at. There's four games left in the season. You can listen to that on the fan, by the way. Hockey night in Carolina, even when they're in Boston. Uh, 99.9 The Fan. That's that storm watch ahead of time. That's aftermath following. Uh, it's the whole kit and caboodle right here on 99.9 The Fan. Um, we're at the point now. Let me ask you this, Dennis. Is there any temptation to intentionally throttle down? No. The postseason is and by throttle down, I don't mean like less intense, but like give some guys some rest. Maybe your twenty one time twenty one average time on ice guys, minutes on ice, seventeen. You know what I mean? Like I could see though I could see that, yes. Because 
the postseason, as the Canes have learned in the last five years, is a marathon, Mm -hmm. not a sprint. And you do not want to be the person at the starting line of a marathon breathing heavy. You want to be the one that almost, you know, chatty Cathy at the starting line of a marathon because you're you're so rested and you crushed so much pasta the night before to carb load and you slept so well and, and you have your favorite shoes on and you're so prepared. Like, that's what you want at the beginning of a marathon. So, I, I, like, it's such a tough um, – balance and this is why rod brandon moore has paid the big, big bucks and mm-hmm. why uh you know he's the one trusted to get them over the hump because like if we look at they had that four day break and then the first 15 minutes again against boston uh were hideous last week right oh, they, yeah, it was bad. they had that break and and then the second two or the second and third periods they played them pretty much even mm-hmm. but that first period where they were kicking off the rust was like yikes the defensive effort it just the the communication it just it wasn't there and and you don't want to set yourself up to have that when the postseason starts but at the same time you don't want to run yourself ragged to beat you know I, let me let me make sure i have their schedule appropriate i have it right here on my computer um you don't want to run yourself ragged to beat st louis chicago and columbus to end yeah. the end the season and and then be somehow set up to to not be 100 percent. so it's it's a balance i'm just I'm wondering if tonight we might see a little bit, you know, more Drury and less Ajo. I could see that probably more next week. Again, it all kind of depends on where they are standings-wise because if the the Rangers sputter towards the end and you have a chance to take the top spot in the Metropolitan Division, if, if it's within reach, you're going to go for it because they're going to have home ice That's through the first couple rounds of That's a five differential plays. right now between the Rangers With and, and four the four games to go. So um, it's possible – Maybe not likely, but you you monitor it. But if you're, I mean, honestly, would not surprise me if you're locked in where your playoff spot is on, against Columbus on Tuesday next week. Wouldn't shock me if, hey, Ajo, uh, Slavin, uh, have, have, a, have a nice little breather, kick your feet off, Spencer Martin, you're in goal. You know, like some of those guys are going to get a bit of a rest. Obviously, you can't sit everybody. You can only rest <laughs> like three guys. But that's, you know. My team is on the ice. You have like three guys out exactly. there. Exactly. That's <laughs> <laughs> little, Hoosier, little Hoosiers moment. But if, if Rob Brindamore, if he wants to, like, just quote-unquote roll four lines and spread out the ice time as even as possible, he wants to do that anyway. If the game, if they're playing right, the game should look like that do you, anyway. Do you leave Svetch and Kuzi? We talked earlier today about how those two guys probably need to ramp up their game a little bit. Mm-hmm. If, they're, if, if the Canes are going to hit their super ceiling in the postseason, those two guys are going to have to ramp it up a bit. Uh, do you leave them out there a little bit more to give them more time to find it? I don't know necessarily a little bit more. I think it's maybe their lines just to make sure they have the chemistry mm-hmm. necessary. If, you're, if this is what you're going to go with in terms of your line combinations, all right, let's get as comfortable with each other as possible. That's number two. Let's get to number one. The one! Is UConn the new standard in college basketball? It felt like for, I don't know, half a century? Everybody was compared to – I would actually say there's kind of two sides to the coin, to UNC and Duke, right? They they were always seen as, uh, you know, two Rams on the uh, – didn't even mean to do that with UNC. Uh, that's a, I won't do that because I won't call Duke a Ram. Um, two Ox, right, just, just battering each other at, at, as peers, and everybody else was looking to them as the gold standard. And and part of that is, you know, the 11 championships between the two of them, all of the Final Fours, all of the conference championships, all of the high-profile players. In the last 24 tournaments, UConn, have they passed them? Guess what? Yes. Here's Dan Hurley on the two-year run that UConn is on. He's obviously the, the head coach of UConn. I just think it, 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 it's, it's the best two-year run, I think, in a very, very long time, just because uh, of everything we lost from last year's team. Um, to lose that much and, and uh, again, to do what we did again, uh, you know, it, it's got to be as, two, uh, as, as, as impressive a two-year run as the program's had uh, since prior to whoever did it before Duke. Um, to me, it is more impressive than what Florida and Duke did. Um, b- because they brought back their entire teams, and you know we, we uh, you know we lost <laughs> we lost some major players. 
That's his argument. I, I would just say this. Six championships in 24 tournaments. The best of the best count trophies. Now, I'm not sitting here saying Duke and Carolina should resign to that. I actually think that would be a huge mistake. It's one thing to acknowledge that UConn is above. It's another to say that they should be for the foreseeable future. To me, this is the kick in the pants. Right? This is the, all right, they're above now. Step your game up. Right? You see this across sports constantly. Right? You, 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 if somebody takes your throne, right, king of the hill, you gear up and you run back back to the top of that mountain and you try to get it back. That's what I'm looking at from UNC and Duke, from Duke and UNC. Again, order irrelevant. John, like I, I saw I saw this today. Um, what was it? It was uh, something from Charlotte, the, the uh, 49ers, right, their college football team. And I don't even know when the picture was from, but their trainers were wearing shirts that said 2.8 on the back. And the reason why it said 2.8 was because like some, I don't know, that was their, their projected win total was 2.8 games. And that was the motivation. If I'm John Shire or Hubert Davis, guess like I'm making sure UConn and, and that comment from, from Dan Hurley, I'm making sure those things are uh, in my players purview, right? I'm making sure in squat racks, it says, you know, how many championships, the the total run of schools. And I'm, I'm making sure all of that is there. You shouldn't be happy being number two if you're one of those programs that has the resources and the name and the history to be number one. UConn's number one right now. Heavy lies the crown. Go get them. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Want to tell you about my friends over at uh, Bailey's. That meaning Bailey's Fine Jewelry, their village district location, and and, and that includes their uh, their watch shop, the Fox and Bailey watch shop. Bailey's Fine Jewelry has taken its timepiece experience to the next level. Not only do they have a unique watch shop, which I just described, Fox and Bailey, one of my favorite places just to walk around and build like my dream watch case. I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. And 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 you know which ones you have to save up for, and you know which ones you you, you might put on your your more recent list, your more soon list. Uh, not only their Fox and Bailey watch shop that showcases fine watches, men's jewelry, and distinctive gifts, gifts, but they are now also an authorized retailer of Omega watches. Bailey's is excited to announce its brand new Omega shop in shop. It's the shop inside their shop. Inside their village district location, Bailey's invites you to enjoy the luxury of Omega on and all its iconic watches. Learn more at baileybox.com. I could build an entire, you know, holy grail watch case just out of the Omega selection. Speedmaster, Seamaster, DeVille, Constellation, uh, another Speedmaster, another Seamaster, different straps, different dials. You should check them all out. Uh, the Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. By the way, that's at their Bailey's Fine Jewelry Village District location. Uh, be sure to let them know we sent you when you stop by. Uh, we need a numbers game participant. Today, the uh, the prize on the line will be America's favorite car show. It returns to the Tar Heel State with a hot rodding event you don't want to miss. We have a pair of tickets to Good Guys 9th Griot's Garage North Carolina Nationals at the NC State Fairgrounds. I don't know why I struggle with this so much. Um, I'm going to try this. A pair of tickets to Good Guys, 9th Griot's Garage, North Carolina Nationals at the NC State Fairgrounds, April 19th through April 21st. If you want a pair of tickets and you want to play the numbers game, call in now. We need two contestants, 919-860-5326. That's 919-860-5326. Numbers game coming up next. 99.9 99.9 The Fan and Dogwood State Bank congratulate the North Carolina State basketball men's and women's programs on their historic runs in this year's NCAA tournaments. Their amazing play leading to the final basketball weekends in Phoenix and Cleveland provided us memories to last an entire lifetime. Thanks for inspiring us to never give up. Thanks for making us all believers. Once again, Dogwood State Bank congratulates the North Carolina State basketball men's and women's programs on their amazing play. Go Pack! This is Gordon Miller from Miller Lending and Carey. Date the rate, marry the house. A phrase often used by realtors to describe the difference between keeping your new forever home as opposed to your mortgage rate, which you'll only keep until something better comes along. Kind of like speed dating. A recent study by the Wall Street Journal further supports this notion by finding the average life of a loan to be less than four years. Their suggestion? Find a no-fee loan, which is exactly what Miller Lending has been telling you since 1996. 
With no closing costs of any kind, you can simply close on today's rates and refinance each time something better comes along. So while builders promote buy-downs with over $10,000 in closing costs, or lenders advertise crazy low rates with even more, Miller Lending continues to be the leader in the no-cost mortgage. So before you throw away thousands of needless fees, pick up the phone and call your local neighborhood lender, Miller Lending & Carey, 919-447-3377, or simply apply online at MillerLending.com. Miller Lending is an equal housing lender, and MLS number 250-2146. To tell you that Keno picks 20 winning numbers, we wrote a winning number of our own. Hit it, boys. You pick up the 10. Keno picks 20. It's easy to play for a whole lot of money. Winning numbers are everywhere with Keno from the North Carolina Education Lot. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds to win a prize range from 1 in 3.86 to 16.63. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. Direct auto insurance is for uncompromisers. The people who refuse to make trade-offs in life. Like Kelly, when her old car insurance got so expensive that she couldn't afford to drive anymore, do you think she started carrying her groceries for miles? No. But she did find Direct Auto's savings that allowed her to drive instead of compromise. With savings of up to 25%, you too can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a quote today at directauto.com. Savings based on applied discounts and will vary. Terms apply. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. Pulling up to Mickey D's just for drinks? Oh yeah, that's me. Nothing extra, just perfection and a straw. Coming in hot for the coldest cups on the block. Because there are drinks. Then there are drinks from McDonald's. Now get an ice cold lemonade, frozen Coca-Cola, or iced coffee. Any size for just $1.79. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. QC is the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades, regenerative medicine. If you are tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics now. Surgery, steroids, drugs, these are no longer your best options. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics, using your body's own power to repair and restore or damaged tissue. QC Kinetics is under the leadership of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Sheenkup. Dr. Sheenkup is a pioneer in this field with 20 years of clinical work, tons of research, teaching, and publishing. He wants to get you relief with a needle, not a knife. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about some exciting options. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime. 919-400-5473. With locations in Cary, Clayton, Raleigh, and Wake Forest. 919-400-5473. Organize easy. Organize tough. Customize your work truck or van with Upfit Solutions from Van Products. Steel and aluminum shelving, toolboxes, data files, cabinets, drawers, conduit carriers, ladder racks, everything safe and secure. Everything built as unbreakable as you by Adrian Steele. Backed by the best warranty in the business. Three years, 36,000 miles. Everything custom installed by Van Products so you know it's done right. From a single work rig to a fleet, choose custom installed Upfit Solutions from Van Products. It is time to play the numbers game here on 99.9 The Fan, The Drive with Tim Donnelly. We have Casey in Raleigh and Jeff in Raleigh on the line uh, getting ready to uh, participate. As always, we have to ask a question to see who gets to go first? Uh, we'll start with Casey and Raleigh. Casey, earlier today, Dennis asked me this question. I want your answer to it. Uh, when you win the Masters, the next year, you have to uh, come back and you cater a, a meal for all of the past champions. And it's anything you want. You just have to kind of choose and organize it. Uh, what meal would you choose and organize for uh, the, the past champions when they get together to celebrate your win? I'm getting Stamey's Barbecue Catering. Give me all the fixings and sides with their banana pudding, and everyone better enjoy it because it's the best barbecue in the, in the country. There you go. Confidence. You said that very, very firm. Uh, you knew exactly where he was going. Yeah, I was going to say, it, I, we did not prep them on the question. That was that was right off the top of the dome. Uh, Jeff and Raleigh with 
30 seconds more to prepare. Uh, you you win the Masters. You get to put together the champion's dinner. What are you uh, serving to the past champions? Yeah, I heard that earlier, and I was giving it some thought. I'm thinking uh, roast beef or prime rib, actually, and then uh, some sort of garlic mashed potatoes, a veggie like broccoli, and then – and then probably some sort of a uh, cheesecake and some wonderful sourdough bread. I do. You. I don't know if everybody heard that, but you just. There was like a sigh from Dennis Cox, our producer. Um, I, I. The tiebreaker is going to be very simple. One of you mentioned broccoli, and one of you didn't. And I'm. I mean, not a broccoli guy. Oh, you're not. Oh, I'm. A, I'm a huge broccoli guy. Well. Uh, I kind of already made my decision. But you made your call. It's your choice. So Casey Casey gets to go first, but two very good answers from oh, both. Very good answers. answers from both. Much better than I think Dennis and I did earlier, which which is a shame. Uh, Casey, you get to go first, so uh, jump on here and pick your category. We have NFL Jackson 5. These are all NFL players with the last name Jackson. We have NFL Arizona State alum. These are all players that played their college ball at Arizona State. NBA current players only. And NHL Canes and Whalers only. Which category strikes your fancy? I'll do NFL Jackson 5. All right. These are all players with the last name Jackson. I will give you the team and the player. I'll I'll say the last name even though you know what it is. Uh, give me the, the jersey number as quickly as you can because there's 30 seconds on the clock, and, uh, and you do have one pass if you need it. Any questions before we get started? Nope. All right. Your time will start when you hear the horn. Lamar Jackson, Baltimore Ravens. Eight. Correct. Steven Jackson, St. Louis Rams. 39. Correct. Bo Jackson, Oakland Raiders. 34. Correct. Mark Jackson, Denver Broncos. Mm, pass. Uh, Keith Jackson, Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, no. Um, mm, uh, pass. Uh, Mark Jackson, Denver Broncos. 52. Incorrect. Keith Jackson, Philadelphia Eagles. I think you got away with two passes there, did you? Uh, yeah. She could have just thrown out a number. Either way, you didn't get anything after the second pass, so I don't feel bad about it. Uh, you got Lamar with eight. You got Steven Jackson with 39. You got Bo, he knows, with 34. Uh, Mark Jackson with the Broncos wore number 80. And Keith Jackson with the Eagles tight end wore number 88. Three is a solid number, though. Very, very, uh, very solid. So sit on the line. We'll see if it holds up, okay? All right. All right, there you go. That brings up Jeff in Raleigh. Jeff, are you there? Yeah, I am. I, I I don't think I have much of a chance to beat three. That would have been the pick I took, and I guess I'll have to go with Arizona State. Okay, we started this conversation talking about golf. The golf is a big self-talk uh, kind of uh, sport, right? If you say, oh, I'm going to hit it in the water, you're going to hit it in the water. But if you say, I'm going to put it on the green, you put it on the green. So you need some better self-talk going into this one, okay? Well, I, I'm thinking I might surprise there you the go. world here. There you go. And, 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 yeah, I got zero chance of making four, though, I'll tell you. <laughs> I thought we were turning around your optimism. Either way, we're going to give we'll it a go. See. Well, all I can do is play it out, and we'll see what happens. Hey, just if you don't know, send out numbers. Uh, so you went with Arizona State alum in the NFL. That's the category you've chosen. I will give you the player and the team. You give me the jersey number. Uh, 30 seconds on the clock. You do have a pass if you need it. You need four to win. Any questions before we get started? Nope. All right, your time will get started when you hear the horn. Rashad White, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Five. Incorrect. Brandon Ayuk, San Francisco 49ers. 18. Incorrect. Rashad White, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 30. Incorrect. Brandon Ayuk, San Francisco 49ers. 81. Incorrect. Rashad White, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 25. Incorrect. Brandon Ayuk, San Francisco 49ers. Uh, 20. Incorrect. Rashad White, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 31. Incorrect. Brandon Ayuk, San Francisco. Well, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you weren't lying, Jeff. You were not lying. Well, I have Rashad White, my fantasy leg. And he'll be my keeper this year, and I don't know his number. Well, it's he wears number one now. So oh, he, well, he, he wore 29 earlier in his forward. career. <laughs> you, you guess 30. If you combine the two numbers he wore, he wore number 29 and number one. Uh, <laughs> Brandon Ayuk wears number 11 for the Niners, uh, and you you called your shot and got zero. There was no chance you were getting four. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, uh, yeah. But I do appreciate I, you calling I, in. I had Keith Jackson, and I would have, I would have equaled him on the other one, though. 
Okay. All right. Well, um, that's always how it is, yeah, right? I, it's I, it's easier to do I it when when the bright the lights aren't on. I need you to let, I need you to not be a broccoli hater. <laughs> uh, well, sorry about it. Anyway, <laughs> appreciate you for playing. We had a good I'll time. Get, I'll do better next time. There you go. Thank that, you. Yep. That means Casey and Raleigh is the winner. Casey, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you can thank – apparently you can thank me being a broccoli hater for your win. So congratulations. You, you got three. That's enough to win. Sit on the line. Dennis will uh, will give you the – or get the info he needs to make sure you get your prize. All right. Appreciate it. Shout-outs to broccoli. <laughs> Shout-out. I mean, if you put, like, some a good cheese sauce or something on it, we can we can talk about it. But if it comes down to – if I get to choose, I'm going to other vegetables. Uh, the drive with Tim Donnelly, ninety nine nine. The fan. Uh, I want to thank everybody. We we've done this a few times, um, but it's it's something that I believe is worth saying again. Uh, we've reached ten thousand subscribers on YouTube. If you listen to the show often, you know it was kind of a personal goal of mine. I was asking personal favors of all of you to go ahead and uh, and and subscribe to our YouTube because I was chasing ten thousand. Uh, we've reached it, so I'm going to take essentially a week here to celebrate before. My my competitive mind targets probably 15,000 is something I want to go get. But for this week, we're celebrating, and, and as part of that celebration, we have a cool giveaway. Uh, but you need to go to our YouTube page, 99.9 The Fan. There's a video there featuring myself, Dennis is in it, uh, Adam Gold, who hosts the Adam Gold Show right before this one, and, and his producer, Victoria Vodenecker. We are uh, all in the video explaining to you how uh, thankful we are, first of all, to reach 10,000 subscribers on YouTube but also uh, how you can win some some very cool prizes as part of our celebration. So uh, enjoy this week because next week I'm going to start pestering you to get more subscribers again. But this week, it's all about celebrating the 10,000 plus of you now uh, that are part of that community. Uh, so so check out the the page. Yeah, do, big, big do, thanks. Do what the video says, mm-hmm. and we'll thank you with a, a giveaway. By the way, that, that contest ends this weekend. Yes. The details are all in the description of that video. Again, we're giving cool things away. Should we tell them what we're giving away? I think you should go after I think you should have to go watch the video. Okay. Should we hint? There might be something music related. And there might be something hockey related. Hockey related. What great uh ooh, you have no idea what that could be. Uh go check out the video, ninety nine nine the fan on uh YouTube. Uh the Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I want to tell you about my partners over at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of NASCAR. They are live and have been live for about a month now in North Carolina, which means you can legally bet on all your favorite sports anytime, anywhere, right here in North Carolina with DraftKings. For a limited time, new customers who sign up with promo code TIMD, that's T-I-M-D, with no spaces, and bet $5 will receive $250 instantly in bonus bets. Could have bet college basketball. Now, guess what's running? Uh, There's NHL you can bet on. There's Major League Baseball you can bet on. There's a whole bunch of different stuff. You can, there's a big golf tournament this weekend you can bet on. DraftKings has the best features, including same-game parlays, player props, uh, promos, and more with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using code TIMD, that's T-I-M-D, and bet $5 to get $250 instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code TIMD with no spaces. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 877-185-543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. NASCAR is not a sponsor of this promotion and used under license. When we come back, I have a very uh, uh, philosophical question about the Carolina Hurricanes' last four games of the regular season next. Soundstation and Security, your automotive and audio experts. Car audio, car video, home theater, wheels and tires, and so much more. Plus, did you know Soundstation and Security offers full service for your vehicle? Alignments, inspection, oil changes, window tinting, and custom exhaust. And with a variety of financing options, Soundstation and Security can help you get what you need today. Two locations, downtown Smithfield and on Glenwood Avenue in Raleigh. Soundstation and Security. Visit myhotsound.com eBay Motors is here for the ride. Go ahead, feel your engine. Admire that perfectly installed exhaust. Your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love. With eBay Motors, you get over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. 
Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Is your heating and air system ready for hot weather? Call Newcomen Company today to schedule a routine maintenance and ensure your system is operating at peak performance. Become a Comfort Contract customer to receive priority service and a 15% discount on service calls and repairs for HVAC and plumbing work. Newcomen Company has served the area as a carrier factory authorized dealer for more than three generations. Turn to the experts today. Call 919-862-3000 or find us at newcomencompany.com. Newcomen Company and Carrier. Your comfort is our business. Adam Gold in studio with my man Dallas Brule from the Aluminum Company of North Carolina and the Spring Open House is coming up this Friday and Saturday and I know one of the things that we're going to be able to see all different types of siding. This is your favorite thing isn't it? Siding. Yes Adam our siding products, the vinyl products, the hardy plank products, the factory painted hardy plank siding products. You know as the weather warms up if you're walking around your house it's time for a paint job. If you see a little bit of rotten wood here or there a great investment a great way to fix all that is to remove all the siding and go back with either factory painted hardy plank or vinyl siding and it adds a lot of value to your home. Plus, with our financing, you don't pay one penny till we're done and you're 100% happy. And we can also fix it up where it's 18 months, same as cash, with no interest. Well, you're just speaking right to me. I don't even need siding and I want siding now. A lot of times we're getting the call, people are surprised at how much the paint job costs. A lot of times you can get the siding products, the vinyl siding, for not much more. Aluminum Company of North Carolina. 1335 Hamlin Road or go to our website at aluminumcompany.com. On average, people spend over a third of their life sleeping, yet most sleep disorders go undiagnosed. I'm Megan Gigling, General Manager of Parkway Sleep Health Centers. Sleep struggles left untreated can lead to health problems and have a serious effect on your quality of life. We've served the Triangle for 20 years. Let us help you get the sleep you've been dreaming of. If you're in need of a sleep study, a knowledgeable doctor, CPAP machine, or supplies, Parkway has you covered. For more information or to schedule an appointment, visit parkwaysleep.com. Sound sleep. Sound health. Wesley Financial Group is not a law firm. This story is called The Ugly Truth About Timeshare. If you think you've done your family a favor by buying a timeshare, you need my help. Hello, I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group. Ten years ago, I started helping folks cancel their timeshare. And in the process, started what's now called the timeshare cancellation industry. The ugly truth is when you buy a timeshare, you can't tell me how much it's going to cost or when it's going to end. I recently helped a couple that had their maintenance fees go from $800 to $3,200 a year. They also received a $4,000 assessment for a hurricane that was over 1,000 miles away. Sound crazy? The crazy thing is, this never ends. Call my office now. If we take you as a client, I guarantee we'll cancel your time share or you'll pay nothing. Call for your free information kit. Call 800-462-3333. That's 800-462-3333. 800-462-3333. Hey, everyone. It's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for up to half the cost. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Savings based on cost of Consumer Cellular single line 1, 5, and 10 gig data plans with unlimited talk and text compared to lowest cost single line postpaid unlimited talk text and data plans offered by T-Mobile and Verizon January 2024. Hey, hey, what do you say? John Forsland here for my friends at Buffalo Brothers. I live and work on both coasts, travel the country. Here's the deal. There's nothing like Buffalo Brothers, the best wings on the planet, and a great place to watch all the big games. Visit all five Triangle locations for great specials like half-priced appetizers Monday through Friday, 4.30 to 6, and $6 Jamesons on Sunday. Dine in, carry out, buffbrothers.com. Oh, man, now I want wings. Ready to step into a healthy and active lifestyle? Come to the Good Feet Store and experience the difference. Discover how a simple step can lead to a life of pain-free possibilities. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I think it's important we set our expectations and, and our level of potential anger over the next four games for the Carolina Hurricanes ahead of time. Do you care about home ice and seeding from this point on? Obviously, like at the beginning of the season, you'd like to be the number one seed and have home ice. But how much do you want the Canes to go pedal to the floor all out 
to achieve a better chance at at home ice in say certain Eastern Conference Finals matchups that may or may not happen. Right, like uh, the Bruins right now are two points ahead of the Canes. Do you want them expending all reserves to go past the Bruins just in case they face each other in the Eastern Conference Finals? Say it now. Because I don't want, like, I don't want people thinking, like, oh, I really don't care. And then they don't pass the Bruins and it's like, oh, why? Right. What I, I, I don't want it to be. Like, let's say that the Bruins do end up making the Eastern Conference Finals, as do the Canes. I don't want then everybody going, why didn't they take those last four games more seriously? When right now they're thinking, no, I want them to make sure they're rested. I don't I don't want to go all out. Here's Rod Brindamore on if they're just getting to the finish line. I mean, I don't like to say yes, but, I mean, essentially, I think every team that's in – kind of knows they're in they're in that you know a little bit of a holding pattern and you certainly want to win every game you play but there's concerns that you would have no doubt about it but you can't worry about that stuff you just got to go play try to get better hmm that's a very honest answer from 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 rod and i appreciate the honesty here's here's my official stance on it i don't care sorry i flipped it <laughs> no, 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 forty and slip. Going with it. No, I'm well, it's it's it's. You'll see what I. I do care. I hope they don't care. Ah, okay. I care because I can't control outcomes, right? I I as much as I'd like to think that, like, if I wear my lucky jersey and right only hold my beer in my left hand, that somehow that impacts the game. I don't impact outcomes in in the NHL postseason. So I want them to have home ice in the Eastern Conference Finals. I want them to have everything stacked in their favor because that makes it so I think they have the best chance of winning. But I hope to all goodness out there that the attitude inside that locker room is I don't care if we have to play anybody, anywhere, we're bringing the noise. Bring them on. I am Dead serious about that. They better not care if they have to play on Mars against the Intergalactic All-Stars. Like, bring them on. I hope they want the Panthers again. I hope they want the Rangers in the second round. I hope they want the big bad bullies that are out there because they know they will mow down anyone in their path. It's it's a very delicate situation. I hope they want the toughest possible road because they're that fired up and that confident, but then I hope they get the easiest situation. right? I hope they're like, we want the Rangers, and then the Rangers – aren't there waiting for him. I hope they're like, we want the Panthers. And then it's like, you know, maybe an injured version uh, of, of what the Panthers have been, not literally injured, but like a less scary version. Uh, uh, like, I hope, I hope they are so dead set that nothing can block them, that they are, are in that weird moment where they're like, I want to fight Tyson. And everyone's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we want Bama. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I want them to be, we want Bama. And then they play Tulsa. Like, I, I want it to be, uh, they want the biggest, baddest, and then they get the easiest situation. Because th that's, you know, I think the healthiest way to be a competitor. So I, I don't I don't much care if they have the third or fourth best record in the Eastern Conference. I don't. I want them to be the number one seed. But I, I really, really hope that they inside that locker room recognize the goal isn't bigger at home. You know what I mean? The dimensions are what the dimensions are, and and they should be so fucked in. They should be so locked in uh, that that they have blinders on and they don't hear anyone else in the the arena. Right? They don't hear anything, any of the screaming from the away crowd because they're they're just that blinders on. I hope they don't see as clearly as my partners at Window Nation at their windows are so clear to look through. Huh? That's that's what we call a segue in the business. Uh, it is April. The weather is changing. feels like every day I get home, it's either like, oh, I'm not going outside, or me and my son are outside playing in the backyard until it gets dark. And, and what that means is your windows are being tested. Every seal, every bit of caulking is being tested every single day. Let Window Nation come out and make sure your windows pass that test every single 
day. Because if they're failing, if they're not keeping the, the air you want in and the air you want out, then your energy bill is unnecessarily high and the value of your house isn't as high as it possibly could be. Right now, Window Nation is running a deal. Buy two windows, get two free, plus zero down, zero interest, and no payments for 24 months. I'll say that again to make sure you you heard it. Buy two windows, get two free. No limit to that, by the way. You can get as many as you want, buy two, get two free. Plus, zero down, zero interest, and no payments for 24 months. They can install your new windows in one day or less, and the windows come with a lifetime warranty. This is all at Window Nation. Get a free, no-obligation quote right now. Call 866-90-NATION. That's 866-90-NATION. Or visit windownation.com to schedule. That is windownation.com. Com. Make sure you, the, they know that you heard about it right here on The Drive with Tim Donnelly on 99.9 The Fan. Uh, coming up today here on 99.9 The Fan, Hockey Night in Carolina. You can hear that Canes versus Bruins game that we were talking about. It is on the road in Boston. Uh, also, head to our YouTube page, 99.9 The Fan on YouTube. There is a video up telling you how you can win some awesome prizes in celebration of of our uh, 10,000th subscriber, of which we are now over 10,000 on our YouTube page. So thank you to everybody that subscribes. If you haven't done so yet, please do so. Check out the video, maybe win some prizes. Uh, with that being said, Overdrive is coming up next right here on 99.9 The Fan. What do we have up first? I be- Oh, it's, it's college basketball. Earlier today, we asked, is UConn the standard in college basketball? And how does that impact the schools in our area? That conversation leading off Overdrive next. Have a great night, everybody. Evan, Canty, and Michelle are unsportsmanlike. Robert in Raleigh, listening on 99.9 The Fan. What's up, Robert? I got to go leftovers, macaroni and cheese. Michelle, I know you don't eat leftovers. My wife grew up eating leftovers. She'll bake a peach pie from scratch, have one piece, and then it's old. And I've heard you talking about where the best pizza is from. If you not had Pepe's, Sally's, or Modern Pizza, they're all right there in New Haven, Connecticut. Connecticut. Mornings from 6 to 9 on 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports its leader. It's bow time. Something new just dropped at Bojangles. Take the bold taste of a crispy golden chicken supreme that's been seasoned to perfection, then add dill pickles, Carolina gold barbecue sauce, and a toasted bun that's great on the go. What do you get? You get a Bose bird dog. In fact, you can grab two of them for five bucks. So when you're on the go, headed to practice, or need a snack, grab a Bose bird dog. Hurry in before they're gone. Available for a limited time. It's bow time. There's no time like bow time, but sometimes it's go time. No time to stop. Introducing Bojangles' new Bird Dog, a seasoned to perfection Bojangles Chicken Supreme, dill pickles, Carolina Gold barbecue sauce, all on a toasted bun. Great on the go. Try two bird dogs for just $5 or a two bird dog combo for just $8. Hurry, Bo's bird dogs are available for a limited time only. When you're hungry for flavor and value, it's Bo time. The best thing about pollen? It's temporary. Just like the Autobell Car Wash Pollen Pass. Enjoy three months of unlimited car washes. Get your pass today and save at any Autobell. And when the pollen ends, so does your plan. People can tell we do auto. It's truck month at your local Ram dealer, and now's the time to get great deals on our award-winning lineup of trucks. At Ram, all we do is trucks. Maybe that's why Ram is the most awarded light-duty and heavy-duty truck brand over the last five years. Ram trucks feature innovative technology and uncompromised power and dependability that give you the power to strengthen your truck game. Go to Ram.com for great deals and hurry in for the best selection of trucks during Ram Truck Month. Based on total full-size pickup awards 2019 to 2023 CYTD, based on standard and available features offered. The Body Armor State Games are coming to Charlotte this June. Registration is open to athletes of all ages and skill levels in 25 different sports. The Body Armor State Games feature 13,000 athletes and 700 teams. Don't miss out on North Carolina's largest sports festival of the year. Visit BodyArmorStateGames.org today. The Body Armor State Games are proud to partner with Truist, Harris Teeter, and Blue Cross and Blue Shield of North Carolina. It's playoff time in the NBA and the NHL. Baseball's in full swing, and FanDuel is your place to bet on every game. Adam Gold here, and right now, new customers can get $200 in bonus bets guaranteed when you make your first $5 wager because you know me. 
Go to FanDuel.com, promo code Adam Gold to get started. FanDuel.com, promo code Adam Gold. Then you can bet on anything. Slap shots, home runs, slam dunks, all on an app that is safe, secure, and easy to use. $200 in bonus bets await when you place your first $5 wager. Visit FanDuel.com, promo code Adam Gold. FanDuel is America's number one sportsbook. Must be 21 and older and present in North Carolina. First online real money wager only, $10 deposit required. Bonus is issued as non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. Restrictions apply. See full terms at FanDuel.com slash sportsbook. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. Timmy, everybody. Great job. Next up, we have Samantha. Ten times better performance can make a big difference. Castrol Edge motor oil gives your engine ten times better high temperature performance. Castrol Edge, better oil for maximum performance. Now through April 23rd, get a $15 gift card when you buy five or more quarts of Edge or Edge High Mileage Full Synthetic only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Claim based on sequence 3H test versus API SP test limits. Thanks for calling Discover. This is Gabby. Hey, Gabby. It's Jennifer Coolidge. Hi. Um, I'm so glad I reached you at 2 a.m. Oh, of course. Anyone with a Discover card can call and talk to a real person 24-7. Now, how can I help? Yeah, I used my Discover card to buy these yellow pleather pajamas, and I'm just not sure I'm pulling them off. 24-7 U.S.-based customer service. It pays to Discover. Limitations apply. Learn more at discover.com slash credit card. This hour on the Triangle Sports Leader is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. Shoot, he scores! Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. WCMC HD1 Holly Springs. Take us with you on radio, web, app, Alexa, and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. This hour brought to you by Habitat for Humanity Restore, now selling brand new solid wood custom cabinets. Learn more at trianglerestores.org. It's 6 o'clock. Time to shift into overdrive. All highlights, no filler, as we run it back from the drive with Tim Donnelly. Was that the sound of, of a new standard in college basketball? I know that that like them's be fighting words in this part of the country to say anywhere else might be the standard in college basketball, but is everyone, including Duke and North Carolina, or North Carolina and Duke, order not intended, and the other blue bloods, if you want to call them blue bloods, are they all chasing UConn? Yes. UConn is the new big bad bully on the block in college basketball, and and it's important to recognize. Dan Hurley, their head coach, did, did, last night I don't think was his most likable moment. T- trash talking to Zach Eady, coached a player I never like. At one point in time, he got on the floor and pushed his own player to get into the action. Can't do that. Here's Dan Hurley after the game. I just think it, 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 it's, it's the best two-year run, I think, in a very, very long time just because uh, of everything we lost from last year's team. Um, to lose that much and, and uh, again, to do what we did again, uh, you know, it, it's got to be as, two, uh, as, as, as impressive a two-year run as the program's had uh, since prior to whoever did it before Duke. Um, to me, it is more impressive than what Florida and Duke did. Um, b- because they brought back their entire teams, and you know we, we uh, you know we lost <laughs> we lost some major players. Yeah, but you would have liked to have had them back. <laughs> wasn't well, your yeah? Wasn't your choice? You, <laughs> well, you're gonna you're gonna knock Florida and Duke because they were more persuasive. Listen, UConn, they've won six of the last twenty four tournaments. Like, let, let's establish why I'm so emphatically saying, yes, they are the new standard before I, I get into what that means for the teams locally and what that means for everybody else chasing them. They've won six of the last 24 tournaments. UNC has six in totality. Duke has five in the last 33 years. Okay? The, 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 
all of the arguments that it's it's always funny, right? Whenever you make like a hard and fast argument, you always have to be careful because it can come back to bite you. All of the arguments that that the the Duke and Carolina and Kansas and whoever whatever blue blood Kentucky, all of the arguments they've made throughout the years, UConn can just say, yeah, remember what you used to say to us? Oh, you have five in the last thirty years. We have six and twenty four. Oh, you have six total. So do we. They have every argument that other schools have used now working in their favor. And you might argue they have a bit better of an argument because they've done it with three different coaches this century. You can't just say, oh, look, you ran into a a, a mastermind in Coach K and and we don't know if it's still going on. Now they've done it with Calhoun. They've done it with Ollie. They've done it with Hurley. Give credit where it's due. There is nothing wrong. This is where it starts to get into how it affects the the local teams and everyone else chasing UConn. There is nothing wrong with the realization that someone has passed you, especially when we're talking programs. If you're talking players, sometimes you will never acknowledge it because you don't have the ability to get them back, right? Like, like, uh, you know. I don't know. Diana Taurasi might never say that Caitlin Clark passed her in college career because Diana Taurasi can never go back to college and build on her resume and and repass Caitlin Clark. So she's just going to dig her heels in and stay there. But if you're a program like a Duke, like a Carolina, there's nothing wrong with the realization that UConn has the upper hand right now. There would be something wrong if you were okay with it. There would be something wrong if you were accepting of it. What you have to be is wildly motivated. What you have to be is, okay, they what, they got 6-24. and 24. All right, by next year, we can get one. They'll be 6-25. and 25. By the year after, we can get another. They'll be 6-26, and 26, and we'll start getting back up there in the rankings. It's a competition. If there were any triggered fans out there when I started this segment by saying UConn was the new standard, good. Use that as motivation. I don't know. Give to your NIL collectives. Pressure your your coach. Pressure your program. Let them know what your standard is. Because if your standard is to be the best, and oh, by the way, my guess is when Duke is recruiting, when UNC is recruiting, they're not out there saying, you know, if you come here, you'll be pretty good. They're probably saying, if you come here, you will come to the standard in college basketball. If that is your expectation, you got to go earn it now because somebody else is, is saying the other thing with a better argument. UConn has rolled through the last two NCAA tournaments. We're, talk- we're, we're not talking about rolled like they've won the last two NCAA tournaments. We're talking rolled like they they've won each game handily. I saw someone saying, uh, like, the argument, right? And, and this is social media, so it was hidden behind an, uh, you know, a fake name and an avatar. Uh, but, but the argument was, is UConn the best team of, I don't know, however long, this century maybe the argument was, whatever it was. And the argument was, can you even name one signature moment from the last two tournaments for UConn? And my response was, well, they didn't need a buzzer beater. No, they didn't. They're do that. ahead by twelve. <laughs> like yeah. the signature moment, they like what slowly, methodically beating everyone in your path. I'm not saying they're the most entertaining team in the world. Shoot, Alabama was a better entertainment product. They were putting up threes all over the place. NC State was a better entertainment product because they had this scrappy upstart mishmash of different players that were unique in their own way. The, the, entertaining isn't the name of the game. Winning is the name of the game. North Carolina used to win with four corners. That is the definition of like, hey, can we make this game more boring? (laughs) They had to change the rules so it wouldn't be that boring anymore. Virginia won a national title. (laughs) That's it. That's all you got to (laughs) say. And we're praised for it in the moment, even though now we look back and we go like, you know what? Their their style of play is extremely boring. Exactly. (laughs) But they still won. Winning is winning. UConn hasn't needed the Michael O'Connell bank in buzzer beater to, to win a championship. That's a credit to them. So guess what? Duke, this recruiting class you have coming in, by the way, uh, Tristan Newton, the, the, mm-hmm. uh, MOP back-to-back years for UConn. Yeah. Most outstanding player of the final four ECU guy. Yeah. So Duke, you got the number one recruiting class in the country. You have Cooper Flag. You have Malawash. You have all these guys. You have to be able to put up the results that UConn got grabbing a guy from ECU, right? 
Donovan Klingen was a back half of the top 100 recruit. Really good recruit. Most schools would love to have him, but you have to be able to take all your top 20 recruits in the country and do what UConn did building around the 70th recruit in the country. Cam Spencer was a transfer, transfer. from Rutgers. Yep. Yeah, is, you know what? He is a, a special case. Yes. Well, because he is the most UConn player I've seen in my entire well, there's life. there's that. <laughs> and, and His brother came, does play in the NBA. And he came from Rutgers. Uh, but but there's and and I'm not by the way I'm not disparaging the the pedigree of anyone at UConn. Uh, Castle was like the ninth recruit in the country. They had that also, but they they were not a juggernaut of monsters put together in a lab to go win a national championship. They just were a juggernaut that went on to win a national championship. Their signature moment was hoisting another trophy. So so if you are North Carolina. And you're trying to get the uh, best shooting guard in the country, the ACC Player of the Year, to come back. If you want to chase down UConn, which is a new new place for a lot of programs, right? You're used to being the hunted. Now you're doing the hunting. If you want to go hunt down UConn, there's one way to do that. Hoist trophies. And we're not talking about the small ones. We're mm-hmm. talking about the one that everyone's chasing. Sometimes you got to call it like it is, and the first thing in, in, in acknowledge or the first thing in solving a problem is acknowledging you have a problem. You're not what you were a couple years ago. Now, I'm not saying you're bad. You, you know, second and third, or third and fourth, or second and fourth, whatever, wherever you place them, that's up to you in the blue blood rankings. But number one right now is UConn, unless you're going to go like, well, actually, it's UCLA. <laughs> Miss me with that. It's like, actually, the Celtics are the, the best in the NBA. They have one title in the last 40 years. Relax. Yeah. Different eras now, people. Overdrive will continue with a Canes conversation. You can hear the Canes coming up right here on 99.9 The Fan uh, in the very not-too-distant future. We're talking just a, a little bit of time here. However, before we get to that, before we get to Stormwatch, we need to talk about Svetch and Kuzi. That's coming up next right here on Overdrive. Get crazy Canes fans. It's hockey night in Carolina. He scores! Dimitri Orlov picks the corner, and the Canes take a 2-1 lead. Stormwatch with Adam Gold at 6.30. Puck drop at 7. Second chance, they score! Yes, Burke Bost knocks it home. On your exclusive home for the Carolina Hurricanes, 99.9 The Fan. The wait is over. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of NASCAR, is now live in North Carolina. Now you can legally bet on all your favorite sports anytime, anywhere, right in North Carolina with DraftKings. For a limited time, new customers who sign up with promo code TIMD, T-I-M-D, no spaces, and bet $5, they'll receive $200 instantly in bonus bets. DraftKings has the best features, including same-game parlays, player props, and more, with fast and easy payouts right at your fingertips. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now using code TIMD and bet $5 to get $200 instantly. Instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code Tim D. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 8 777 185 543 or visit more than a game.nc.gov. 21 plus North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at DraftKings.com slash sportsbook slash NC. NASCAR is not a sponsor of this promotion and used under license. Spring. New beginnings. Maybe new chances at life in the bedroom. Guys, if Mother Nature needs a little assistance helping you spring into action, Arise Urology Clinic offers the hope and help you need thanks to Core Wave Therapy. Spring on over to corewavetherapy.com to check out Core Wave or call Arise Urology Clinic for Men at 919 459 5400. Again, learn more or schedule an appointment today at corewavetherapy.com. It's time for the Coastal Scholar Athlete of the Month. Hello, this is Creighton Blackwell from Coastal Credit Union, here to celebrate our next Scholar Athlete of the Month. We are here at South Garner High School, where we're going to celebrate the next Scholar Athlete, Patience Ifedine. Patience has been an awesome addition to our women's basketball team. Patience has been playing since her freshman year. So to be a year-round athlete and to have a 3.9 um, GPA, that takes a lot of dedication and hard work. I just never forget like what I, why I'm doing the stuff that I'm doing, why I'm a student athlete and why I play basketball. And she's a leader, very much a leader on this team and she plays a very important role in all our lives. She'll tell you the truth. 
of what you do wrong, but she'll like make it sound nice. She won't try to make it sound mean. My teammates, they show me stuff that I didn't even know about myself, and they push me to be great every day. I mean, I'll, obviously I do the same for them. And my coach, she's been, she's been everything to me. Um, my mom calls her my godmother, but I don't know about that yet. We'll, we'll work on that, but she's been, she's been everything to me. She's made me a better person, and she's just grown my game to a whole nother level. Congratulations, patience. Thank you. For 20 years, 99.9 The Fan and Coastal Credit Union have been recognizing scholar athletes at Triangle Area Schools. If you'd like to nominate a high school athlete, head to WRALsportsfan.com keyword award. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. It's the first day of the first grade And she found a new best friend It's a laid back Sunday afternoon You wish would never end The homemade taste of bluebell And good friends gathered round The good old days are being made right now St. Louis brought the world gooey butter cake now Bluebell brings us gooey butter cake ice cream, a cake batter ice cream with a luscious cream cheese swirl and gooey butter cake pieces. Mmm, it's the gateway to the best in pints and half gallons. The good old days are being made right now. The good old days are being made right now. Look for Bluebell ice cream at your favorite grocer. If you can't find it, be sure to ask for it. We're in overdrive on 99.9 The Fan. Today's key highlights and opinion from The Drive with Tim Donnelly. The Canes are to the point in their season where they're ironing out details. Four games left in the regular season, postseason staring them in the face. That's where all of their, their mountains to, to traverse are located. That's where their obstacles to overcome are located. We talked yesterday about some of the schematic details they can iron out. But you know what is just as important as the schematics, as the X's and O's, as the, the, the strategic things in the postseason? The mental side of things. How many times they're so talented, but they can't get over the hump in the postseason? Oh, every year they're the, one of the top seeds, but they can't get over the... It's between the years a lot of the times. So the Canes have to take care of the schematic details. We talked about it yesterday, getting, you know, who's going to skate with who in, in line, um, maybe some some power play stuff they can still figure out a little bit or at least have their, their plan in place. Today I want to focus on the, the mental details. They're playing Boston tonight, right, on the road. Four straight road games to end the season. They just lost to Boston last week. Could there be a little bit, just tiny, maybe 1% of 1% advantage uh, of redemption, right? How important is it of the for their mentals to another team that is a Eastern Conference playoff team, right? Playoff spot clinched, the Boston Bruins. Make sure it's like, hey, we can beat them just like they can beat us. They're 1-1 one one on the season, but the win that the Canes had against Boston was back in January. The loss was last week. Also, Boston is two points ahead of them in the standings in the Eastern Conference, so a win moves them in for a tie. And more importantly, do they need to come up with little things like that, a little redemption storyline, little point storyline, just to make sure they aren't coasting into the postseason? Come up with a re 